time to shine just like a diamond. Yeah. When life is rough and I ain't with that funny stuff, I use it all as motivation, but it's hard to have the patience. Have the patience. Watching time fly. Ah, wrong one. It's fine. I know what I'm doing. Or it's not going to work at all. What the heck, dude? Hello, everyone. Base of here. Welcome to a stream that's already falling apart. Um, I'm not sure why my full camera button decided to stop working. There it goes. Okay. Why does the game disappear? What the fuck, dude? It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. It's... It even shows up. It even says the game is on the scene. But it's not displaying. What is going on, dude? Can I not play full screen of the game? All of a sudden. See, it's there! Stop! What the fuck? Why is the game hiding? Like, OBS shows it's visible. What? Dude. Ugh. You're not a real, real streamer until you have constant issues that are unexplainable. Inexplicable? Hey. What the mother... Br Fine. For some reason, this... The 3D transform hides the game. That makes no sense. Anyways, <laughs> my friends, welcome back to the stream. We're going to be playing some more uh, Boyfriend Dungeon here. Um, I don't exactly remember where we left off, but I don't think it really matters either. I think it's just kind of you take it as things come. Ooh, also, another issue... Um, the, the channel points redemptions down below, like the sound effects and stuff ones, are broken. Um, you can't connect to the servers. Um, so, unfortunately, those aren't working right now. Um, but, let us see if we can actually accomplish them. Can you turn on controller? Okay, I would have been very upset. Oh, that's right. We got these two other new... Okay, the exclamation point ones. Are those like missables, maybe? Be careful, it's dangerous. Oh, is that saying... You know, I didn't mind his combat. I just don't like him in general. I guess we'll go. Why is there two of them? Oh. Okay. I think I'm figuring things out. Let's go on, on one of these dates. Uh, what is the Seven and Sawyer, right? You see Seven sitting alone, poking at his phone. I like your earring. Oh, it's you. Hey. Hey. Seven puts away his phone and looks at you expectantly. Uh, there's an awkward uh, silence. Is he pop idol? So, uh, what's your favorite Blade Generation album? Don't tell me that's your, your band. That would be emb embarrassing. What's Blade Generation? Seven smiles if it... At a joke. Oh. Wait, you're serious? Oh. Uh, yeah, I was right. Don't plug that stuff, man. Come on. Be humble. Blade Generation is uh, my band from Korea. Double Platinum. No big deal. You don't listen to a lot of music, I guess. Too busy? You watch net TV? Monster killing takes time. My love life is intense. I like to chill out. What do you like to know? I like to chill out. Mm. It takes hard work to achieve anything, though, doesn't it? Oh, well. Since you don't know Blade Generation, I guess I don't need an autograph. I guess you don't need an autograph. 
Oh, please. Are you conceited? Because I hate that. Would you like to offer a gift? Nah. <laughs> Do I have some for him? So we're done here then. Let's done it sometime. How is sword life? Sword life, huh? I guess as a wielder, that's your main interest. Well, in Bleed Generation, I'm the Machne of the group. Machne. Is that, is that a weapon? Nah. My agent doesn't want my sword side to be public knowledge. It might make me less cute. My nose is itching. He takes a sip from his coffee and makes a face. Something wrong? Yeah, I mean, not really, but uh, they used the wrong milk. What kind? I asked for oat, but I'm not going to complain, that's for sure. Not my kind of thing. Me neither. What? Wait, why did she come over here? Shit, cover for me. <laughs> The cashier approaches your table nervously. Hmm. Hey, I'm sorry to bother you, but you're Seven from Blade Generation, aren't you? I'm Olivia. Oh, we met with you earlier. You got the cool nerd flair. Seven looks at you and shakes his head slightly. There's like panic in his eyes. It's not his real name. Uh. Uh, you're mistaken. Uh-huh. No way. No way! I'd know that bias wrecker's face anywhere. Bias wrecker? What's a bias wrecker? Wait, that means... Oh. Oh. My. God! Oh no. Stop. Oh my god, oh my god! Play Generation is in Verona! Huh? Maybe even some Wu is here too! Devin's face closes, becoming carefully blank. <laughs> Olivia rushes away, typing on her phone excitedly. Oh, don't. You okay? Yeah. Forever. Can't come here anymore, I guess. Thanks for having my back, though. Later. I guess there's still the dunge if you want to. The monsters won't be paparazzi. Chain lightning when finishing a combo. Energy bolt damages nearby enemies for the first enemy it hits. That's kind of neat. Seven slashes out. Met my expensive looking car outside. Later, dude. You head home. Oh, fuck. I, uh, wait, you don't miss out on those dates and stuff, right? Then we're going to kicks again, so hope you have another idea. Beach? Movie? Dinner? Movie? Good idea. Maybe sometime. I'll think about it and get back to you. Okay. Thanks, dude. Uh, hey, Jesse. Okay, so you are plus, so you and a plus one are invited to my 4th of July barbecue tomorrow. <laughs> Yay. Jonah really wants to meet you. Who's Jonah? I don't remember who Jonah is. Oh, he's the buff and sweet dude. That's funny. And he doesn't mind if you're dating someone else. No big deal. You can invite anyone. Uh, why is there no maybe option? What's up, Pancake? Welcome to the stream. How you doing, friendo? Did that go off and I didn't hear it? What the heck? Is Streamlabs disconnected too? Oh my god, so many problems from today's stream already. Yep. Streamlabs disconnected. Yeah, the one cookie. Here go. Get it. Um... Hold on a minute. <sighs> Gotta do the stupid dance. I did this like a week ago, I swear. I swear I did. Oh, so I've been working with cement, and I think I filed all my fingerprints off on accident. Oh my god, I don't remember my password for the stupid bot. Yeah, fuck. Hold on. Generate token. Why isn't it auto filling in for me? I tried that password before. Did I just miss it because my fingers are all jacked up and they hurt? 
You must solve the puzzles. Oh no. This is always when it breaks. Pick the chicken. What the fuck? These are new. Those are new captures. At least I didn't have to do it 40 million times. You, the Twitch one, you had to do over and over and over again, even if you completed it. It was really obnoxious. Uh, Twitch. Alright. It should work. Hopefully. Now? There we go. Okay. It shows connected. There we go. But I gave her a treat. Welcome to the stream, Pancake. How you doing? Shit. Oh, right. Oh. I, can't, I just left him on red. Uh. Sure, I'll bring someone. Tell them to bring something. Oh, shit. See you tomorrow. Why does my nose itch? It's so stinking bad. Look at my little plushie. I don't remember that being there. Is that one of the things I picked up from the dungeon? all this awesome stuff I've crafted. Oh, that's right. I got a new helmet. Sleepy time. I got a... a night's helmet. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Okay. I think we're good. Let's just... Let's just kick it. Um... Time. There it goes. Now we heard it. Let's go meet, uh, Sawyer. Oh shit, was I supposed to go to the place? They have Flair too. You arrived to find Sora and Olivia arguing. Oh no. No more freebies. You haven't worked here for like a year. Come on. Just one more measly sandwich. I owe you a friend big time. Please. Is your friend Big Papa by chance? Huh? How did you know? Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> Sawyer's adorable. I'm just... Paying for us both. Uh, it's fine, dude. So he digs in their pockets for money, blushing. Oh, here. I found this. How many of these can I give you? They hold out five lumps of sugar in their palm. Olivia shakes her head. Sawyer seems slightly panicked. Uh, Let's just talk. Hmm. Olivia seems to come to a decision size. She summons a smile for you. It's fine. Keep your money, both of you. Just take the sandwich, please. Go on. I swear, I swear to all gods. <laughs> I swear, I swear to all the gods. This is the last time, okay? Yeah. You bet. Thanks, you're the best, Livy. Mm hmm. Yeah, I am. You sit at the table. It doesn't look like Sawyer has anything to eat. No, no, no. Why didn't you get anything, bro? You're not hungry? I kind of want to say you want to split this because. They would have got something from themselves, right? They don't have the money. Wanna split this? Uh -huh. Oh, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. As you eat, you see their eyes tracking your sandwich carefully, unable to stop sharing. Staring. No, no, don't slow down. Sorry. Let's talk about something else. Um, They swallow hard and they revert their eyes. You're adorable. I insist. At your more forceful invitation, Sawyer takes half and wolves it in two bites. Holy crap. Thanks, good stuff. Uh, Here, uh, I want you to have these, okay? We got some sugar. Thanks. Thanks for the sugar cubes. They give you a few sugar lumps. You obviously stuff them in your pocket. Sawyer smiles, pleased with themselves. Do you just carry sugar around with you? Sugar clumps in your pockets? Why is resume writing so bad? It's freaking obnoxious. And the worst part is companies don't even look at it. Like case in point, I submitted a resume the other day and I had the recruiter person call for the job posting. And he asked me every single question that could be found on my resume. They don't even look at it. Covered letters are even more pointless. Nobody reads those. At least in my line of work, they never get read. They immediately go like, they op they see your resume and they, if they see cover lever, they just go bloop, and they just completely pass it over. It's fucking awful. Hey, uh, I was looking online yesterday for a lot of weapons in Verona Beach are hitting chip. Or, or, I was looking online yesterday, and a lot of weapons in Verona Beach are getting chipped lately. Maybe there's something about the dry summer heat that makes us brittle. Maybe someone's doing it. 
We have to train more. It'll be safer if I'm there. Their eyes keep flickering and I want to catch it. What? Chipping us on purpose. A serial chipper? I love it. I'm not sure what the point would be. Maybe it's just their eyes moving. I hope they're not targeting students particularly. That'd be so creepy. Sorry, his eyes wander back to your plate. Where only crumbs remain. A wild cat growl erupts from under the table. Is there an animal loose in here? After a moment, you realize there's so much stomach. Fuck, dude. Uh... Sorry, geez, even after you shared your sandwich with me. To be honest, I can't afford to eat much. Fucking, let's get him a fucking goddamn sandwich. I had a good job for a while. They get rent, free rent from my mom, but it's hard. It's okay. How do people afford eating anyways? Is everyone rich? Restaurants are so expensive. And they rip people off. Scones only cost like 10 cents of flour and 10 cents of butter. I'm in a business class and it seems to me someone could disrupt that market easily. <laughs> Got us the middleman. Buy the ingredients yourself. I could make an app that tells you how to make a dish like a restaurant would. You save costs by not paying waiter or hostess too. Boom! What do you think? You just invented cooking. Amazing. Really? I can call it kitchen. <laughs> if there's an app, uh, that sounds so dumb. I don't know. I hate business stuff, to be honest. I'm more into history class. I was just taking it for easy credits, but everyone in the class is so competitive. I have to come up with a business idea for my semester project, and this is all I got. My next step would be documenting how to turn ingredients into food. But I don't even know how to boil an egg. I tried once and ended up with a black husk. Oh, God. <laughs> I just hate adding all these jobs I've ever worked. Yeah, right? I hadn't had to update my resume in 10 years. And, oh, that was a pain in the ass. I can teach you. Let me help. I know the basics. That's a thousand times more than me. Would you show me how, please? That would be wow. amazing. I'll do a little research on egg boiling first, but then I'll hit you up for lessons. If I bring the ingredients, could we... Does it... What you... Do you... Sarah takes a deep breath and gathers your courage. Um, is it a date? Yeah. I like Sawyer. They're cute. Um, although this, I don't know how to respond to this. I'm not good at this stuff. Uh, I hope so. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll, um, I'll try to play cool. Yeah, I gotta get to history, but let me know where you're, when you're heading to the dungeon. I did some first aid on my cracked blade, and I'm ready to fight again. Heavy attack throws glaive. Ooh. Mobilizing enemies, they can still attack. Ooh. Oh, that's right. Bye. So here's the glaive. Talk to you soon. Yeah, I don't. Who do you invite? Oh, shit. Wait, did I not get far enough? For, uh, Sawyer? That's a bummer. Uh, Valeria is the only one I care about from that list. She accepts and says she'll meet you there. On the way over, you pick something up to share. Cheesies. Cake. I'm gonna get a cake. You worry it's not good enough. Will Jesse laugh at you? You buy it anyway. Cake seems like a safe bet. Everyone likes cake. Exactly. Hey, Valeria. You find Valeria waiting outside Jesse's home. Hey, stranger. Miss me? Always do. You ring Jesse's doorbell, but nobody answers. You hear the sound of talking and music from the backyard. You go around back to investigate. Hey, it's my coolest cousin. Yeah, like your shirt. Everyone be friendly, okay? Ooh, lemonade in the back? A few strangers look at you curiously and raise the glass. Your cheeks feel warm. Oh, you brought cake. Perfect. We needed something sweet. Fuck yeah, dude. And who's this with you? <laughs> oh my. Oh, you indeed. Thank you for letting me crash your little party. You're very welcome. On a little tour? I need to go in and prep burgers and shrooms. Yeah. I brought but <laughs> Whoa. Why is that always with the echo? I brought baklava too. Oh me. I love baklava. Oh man, I can't wait. Thanks so much. Mm. In the meantime, Big Papa, meet Jonah. Here. Go. Talk. Jesse pushes a stranger towards you with a wink and walks away. Um Hey dude. Hi. I'm Jonah. Shoot, you knew that already. <laughs> and you're Big Papa. That's me. 
What do you do? Can you become a sword? That's me. Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, so that's us. You're awkward. I love it. You stand awkwardly, both trying to think of something to say. Uh, let's keep up the awkward. What do you do? I do a lot of surfing and hanging out, mostly. Some reading, too. Oh, wait, do you mean for work? I don't really have a job right now. Guess he said you fight monsters. Is that right? You're... So you're some kind of hero? It's no big deal. Huh. <laughs> That's exactly what a hero would say. I'm on to you. I've been thinking about trying the dungeon out myself sometime, maybe. Guess he said you will the weapons down there. I can sometimes be an axe. Oh, fuck yeah. I don't often do it, though. How do you do it? That's amazing. <laughs> Thanks. It doesn't take much effort, though. I just decided to change shape. Like clenching a fist. Maybe I'll show you sometime. Anyway, I could definitely use the money for a gig, but... Uh... You promise we won't hurt anyone? Like, not even animal? Only monsters. And who decides... Oh, shit. And who decides when an animal or monster, I wonder? I don't really have a choice. I wish I wasn't hurting so bad for money. Here's my number. Maybe we can go together sometime. Or if you want to hang out, like, as humans. Uh, I'm usually at the beach. Sounds good. Larry rejoins you and Jonah with a smile. And who's this cute friend of yours? Hmm. Jonah. Wait, we've met. I know you. You're the one that always bought a duck at the grocery store, right? You bought a duck? Also, is the guy that's following her, is he like a hitman? Or does she owe him money? Or is he a pimp? What What is his deal? Eric abruptly... Oh, fuck off, dude. I forgot about... I forgot all about you. Who invited you here anyway? Eric abruptly elbows his way into the conversation. Oh, Big Papa, hello. May I kiss your hand? No, you interrupted. Yeah, go away. Now, my sweet, that is quite rude. Fuck off. Even if I know you're joking. I'm not. You're, I think you're pretty, uh, you're... You're, like, racist, but it... With people that can turn into swords and stuff, so fuck off. Jonah glances between you and Eric. Uh... I don't think he's joking, dude. Well, it's a free country. That's what this holiday is about, right? Hmm. And I'll freely... Decide to leave this party right now. Good day. Give my regards to Jesse and Samantha. I must flee. Oh. Go oh, fuck him up. Valeria, I'm okay with that. Eric hurries away, hands over his ears. Are... Are you okay, Big Papa? Eric really gets to you, huh? I hate him. I kind of want to say that. I'm fine, thanks. Shrug. You realize you, you're lightly trembling with suppressed feelings. Where did your confidence go? Larry gives you a little smile of sympathy. Why is she angry? That guy gives me the creeps. Same. Eric, Jesse, and I went to school together. He doesn't have a bad heart. I think he's just lonely. He's definitely sounds like he's a bad heart to me. That doesn't give him the right to be a jerk, but I wish he would grow up. It's a nice thought. Yeah. Well, it's probably just a thought. I don't know if he can be helped, honestly. The evening goes by surprisingly quick with lively conversation. Party time! We eat burgers and grilled portobellos. Oh, yum. Walking the line between satisfaction and gluttony. At one point, the music is turned down and everyone quiets, watching the fireworks. As the sky explodes, you feel the wild, romantic energy surge through you. You have to... Uh... Resist. You take a deep breath, then another. The impulse passes and the fireworks end. Someone turns the music back on. <laughs> Those are some explosions, all right. Now, back to partying! I hope Jesse won't think I'm rude if I cut out now. I have to work. I want to... I have work I want to do tonight. Hmm. And celebrating imperialist colonizers isn't really my jam. Feel that. It was fun, though, huh? Nice meeting you, Jonah. Ciao. Valeria gives you a light peck on the cheek on her way out. Bye. Bye, Valeria. See ya. Left to fend for yourself, a deep tiredness soon overtakes you. You say goodnight to Jesse and Jody and Joni, Jonah and shuffle home. Look at the nose, dude. Oi.
Oh, he looks shirtless in that photo. Ah! That's a lot of things. Nice meeting you at the barbecue. It'd be fun to talk more sometime. But I just remembered I'm out of town for the rest of the summer. Seriously? Yeah, sorry. Maybe we can connect again somehow, someday. If you ever come back to town in, in the fall, maybe I can show you some surfing spots on the island. What island? Bruin Island. The ferry is under repairs right now, though. Oh, well. Hyper Summer is... In uh, Verona Beach is the best. Thanks. I think we'll meet again somehow sooner or later. Sooner than we think. Does that mean I don't get to use him as a weapon? Sounds like to boil an egg, you have to use a lot of water, like a whole pot full. Did, how did you... You did it. Uh, so how was the barbecue romantic night? Nah. Well, in my opinion, I've tried my best. And you seem like you're happy, so... Honestly, I consider my job here done. You've met some great folks gone on some dates. I think I can back off and let you do your thing for the rest of the summer. Is that okay? Wait, is there more? Sure. Cool, now we can just be normal friends and cousins. Phew! Love you, cuz. Talk to you later. See you, Jesse. Alright. Let's, uh... Okay, so we got a date, we got a date, we got a date. Oh, that's done done. Okay. Let's, uh... Guess we gotta go on this date. You spend time at La Rosa with Sunder. After a bit of dancing, you both retire to the VIP mm -hmm. section. Hey, let's get to know each other better. Ask me anything, handsome. So you're a dancing scimitar. Yeah. <laughs> hey, whoa. Towers are completely different from scimitars. But sure, I dance plenty. I own this place with Mandy. Well, she owns most of it. I make do with the scraps. Life is for a living, right? Why? So why work? I'd rather have a good time. Um, dance floor. Do more damage when surrounded. Finishers have a larger attack area. That sounds something I can do. So I spend most nights dancing. I'm glad you're here. I only had eyes, have eyes for you, you know. Sunder meets your gaze with the intensity that makes you blush. His focus is broken by his phone chirping, which he looks at briefly and puts uh, away. I'll be right back, handsome. Don't go anywhere, all right? No promises. You applied for a secretary job in the school system. Ooh! Uh, for the school you're working with? Or just... Do you know what school it applies for? Is it for the, the same one, or is it just in the school system in general? He smiles and leaves towards the bathroom. You wait. It's probably only been a few minutes, but it feels like he's gone for a long time. You feel an itch, a hunch, a suspicion, maybe made of nothing but jealousy. Take the bathroom? I... Honestly, I would ignore it. I wonder if he's okay, though. You wonder if you should go after him. Your gut feels tight and hot with tension. You tell yourself not to be paranoid. Let's go. You decide to just take a little peek to calm your nerves. You find a back door propped open. Outside, you hear giggling. Is he a fucking... He's a motherfucking vampire. He's an actual vampire. You step outside and find Thunder leaning into a woman whose eyes are glazed. He's an actual vampire. Is that him? Because someone like that's watching us. Oh, it's a lady. Is that him? Because someone like that's watching us. Thunder leaves away from her, wiping her mouth. His mouth. Hey. Uh, hey. What? Uh, oh, hey, Big Papa. Dude, your eyes are freaking me out. So, uh... So, this is weird. I'm uh, gonna go. Do you... Do people get high after getting bit or something? No need to sneak up on a guy. I was coming back in soon. What was that? What were you doing? 
What did you say about me? Are you dating someone? What were you doing? Hmm. Nothing, just uh talking. Maybe a kiss or two. Like you. Just chill out a little, okay? We have so much fun together. I'm not upset. I want to make you feel special because you are. I like you a lot. Like a lot, a lot. I think you just want to bite me. But also, sometimes I want to kiss other people, and I'm sorry if that hurts. Just don't lie to me. Let's just be friends. I'm a one weapon boy. That's the apology. Let's just be friends. That's fine. Even then, I kind of don't. And miss out on all this? You're not going to find a sharper blade, cutie, not but your loss. See, seriously, his, his abs are his whole personality. It's fine. You can still have fun together as friends. I'll do right by you, Big Papa. Trust me. Would you like to offer a gift? Hey, you want this rose? Who likes whiskey? I don't remember who likes whiskey. I'm gonna keep the food for Sawyer. There you go. For me? Ooh, I feel so special. Hit him. Jesse tells me you have a very attractive friend. Which one? I don't want to pry, but is it uh, serious? I don't know yet. We're eloping. <laughs> yep, that's what I would say. No, 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 no. My invitation is in the mail or else. Remember, live by the sword, die by the sword, which I guess is a saying about marriage. <laughs> anyway, have a good day, sweet. Oh, wait, she thought I was serious? Crap. Hey, thanks for coming last night. You're my favorite dance partner. X my heart. Oh, cross my heart. Later. Fuck. I don't like any of these reactions. Later. You would have said one weapon, boy. Hell no, dude. Dual wielding sounds awesome. Where do I check my weapons? I don't remember where. Inventory. Weapon info. Here you go. Okay, so he's maxed. Not dagger. Ooh! Laser saber! Bro, we gotta go play with those. Let's, um... Let's play with Sawyer. Sawyer looks cool. I hope their moveset's cool. La Rosa. Dungeon fear identified. Look at my glaive! Oh, we should probably hurry. I still have homework to do tonight. How did I do that? That's awesome! Ah, martinis! Ouch. Ow. This music bops, dude. How do I do that move? How did I do that slam move? I get four attacks though sometimes. This music slaps. No, I got the joke, Pancake. Believe me, I got the joke. You didn't get my joke. Ha! Ah! Shit! Oh, I couldn't go through there. These things hurt. Holy shit. 
I will take this. I got a chocolate truffles recipe. So what we'll do is we'll focus on the fisticuff. You find a set of bladed brass knuckles looks like some of the claws are missing. An engraving on the side reads pocket. Wow. Such a cute name. I wonder who it is. Oh my God. Is it a fucking cat? Or is it a furry? You touch the metal begins to stretch and grow. It's a cat. Oh my god, it's a cat. Wow. It's a cat. Nice kitty. Wow. The cat eyes you worriedly but allows you to come closer. You find a phone number on its collar, but you put it your phone. You put it in your phone before he scampers off. No! Kitty! Damn it. Where's a cat? Whoa! Oh god, those things explode. Ouch, fuck. Oh, you can attack those, good. And this place hurts. Dark Prince recipe. Okay, I got a, a message. What was that? Pocket. Okay. My cat was missing for a while and just reappeared with his phone up with his phone number in his mouth. So I guess you found him. Thanks. If so, I was really worried. No problem. Text me and I'll let him out. He likes to roam. Let him out. Looks like he's headed to the park. Little killer. Wait, what? I'm fucking confused. Break these? I sure can. Die. All right, Sawyer's dope for this area. Okay, we found the flag. Ooh, super fight. Cash machine has two options. Liquidate. Assess. Or is that access? You push the button and feel a rumbling belief beneath your feet. Okay. That was access. Oh shit. Ow, that hit me. Oh. No! Oh. If it wasn't going to let me get that money, I was going to be upset. Look at the laser beams. Ah! I was distracted. You got to sway. Don't worry, dude. Oh. That was a lot of explodies. Oh. I can't see when the notes come out of there when I'm that close. Freaking nose, dude. I got a hat. <gasps> oh, fancy. I've never been, been a very important person past the velvet rope. Though I don't know if this counts really. There's a rope, but is it really a VIP section if there isn't a bouncer? Just enjoy it. You're right. I'm overthinking things again. They settle in this cushion, relaxing as best they can. So now what? What do you do in a VIP section? You just sit here, being very important? I love Sawyer. Hey, you want a snack? Want a cupcake? 
Hell yeah, dude. Oh, my mouth is watering. I have to eat it. It will be the most delicious thing I've ever eaten. This place is kind of boring. Let's go back to fighting. What do you say? Sure. Did you like your cupcake? I think they like their cupcake. What's the flag? Oh, that's the way I come in, right? And then there was a... What do you call it? This thing. Hidden stairway. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> New shop. Ooh. Ah! Oh, fuck. I needed that so I could make the thing. What the fuck? I'm worried about what you have to sell. That's, he's like a transmogrifier. He can turn it into other stuff. Get in my face already! Can you see I'm shoving here? Oh, sorry. Little black hole. Alright, change weapon. Let's, uh... Alright, laser saber. Oh, you do less damage. Whoa! How do I get in there? Oh. I didn't see there was another entrance. <laughs> I couldn't leave. Oh man, you do way less damage. Night armor. Ooh, we're gonna get a full set of armor. We'll be cons playing. <gasps> Lasers. Fuck. Oh my god, there's too many things here. is ridiculously fast. That martini jar hit me. The music is so good in this mo er, movie. Game, I wanna... I have to buy it. Fuck that up. <gasps> Drop glass. Should we do an encore? Because we're on a stage. Nice. Got some glue, and I just spent a lot of money to get some glue. Whoa. It's a love room. Seven raises eyebrows skeptically. <laughs> I didn't know you were so campy. It's not like Cupid's nightmare in here. I guess we're dating or whatever, but this is still not really my style. You're my favorite wielder, so we can chill wherever you want. Would you like to offer a gift? Sure. Um. Actually, I don't know anything about you yet. I'll just hang out. Over here, if that's okay. No judgment. He waits patiently until you're ready to go. Okay. There were stairs up over there. Oh, because that was to go to back to the elevator or something. Got like no level with him. I suppose I didn't give him a treat. I don't need to break, but we can still take one. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh. 
Mm. These fancy drinks always look like an awful lot of effort. Would you like to offer a gift? Nah. Just saying not to give a gift. Little umbrellas or smoke or foam or at the very least so much ice shaking. Mm. Maybe it's, a, it's because I don't really drink much. But I don't see the point. See, good thing I didn't give him stuff. There isn't one. Novelty? <laughs> Maybe I should be glad I don't care about novelty much. It seems expensive and tiring. We have better things to do anyway. Beat downs. <laughs> Creepy monster hands and lips. Oh, that makes sense. We're in a club and creepy hands grabbing. Woo. Okay, the lightsaber is a little difficult to use. Doody, doody. Yo, Solo, you absolute legend. How you doing, my eye, dude? I just walked into a bad zone. How you doing, my man? What were you playing? Tell me I didn't miss the baby game. You weren't doing demos, right? Ah! I'm surrounded by all the bad. Please hold. I heard a follow. I'll get... Ah! Ah, I just awakened even more bad news. Okay, everyone go to sleep. No, no. Please hold. I'm beating up martini glasses. Oh my god, they don't die. Why do you have so much life? Ah, laser beams. Oh, God. I'm dying. It's fine. It's fine. I'm good at this game. I know what I'm doing. Oh, my God. The stress. Stop. Oh, uh, no. Giant hands. Are those green lasers going to hurt me? Get out of here. Keep your hands to yourself. Lips. Oh, my God. The stress. Holy crap. English is acid. Ah, I should probably finish fighting before reading chat <laughs> welcome anyone that's coming in with the raid i appreciate you being here i'm vasive i'm a variety gamer here on twitch right now we're playing boyfriend dungeon we just finished uh final fantasy 7 remake on pc that was modded so we're break week right now and i decided to play this because it's on game pass because i got a free month of it or whatever so that's exciting but the real star of the show is this one right here this is jada jada here you go I just cookies say thank you for the follow. That's Jada. She's the real star. But how you guys doing? Oh, that was stressful as heck. You came in at like the most stressful time. <laughs> what were you playing, my dude? Also, anyone in my chat, if you don't know, ah, the Don, the main man. You absolutely should. Very wholesome, very chill dude. Love hanging out in his stream. It's quite funny. Makes me laugh a lot. Jade is real important. Yes. Agreed. <laughs> She's uh, taking her little nap. No. Nope. Oh my god, there's... I'm... I'm using a weapon that I'm not used to. Oh, this area sucks. Can you guys come over here? Ahaha. Have you played this game solo? I'm going to keep changing your name between Solo, Dawn. One of these days, I'll call you the... <laughs> ah! Lasers. Fucking lasers, bro. Too many lasers on the dance floor. I'm going to die. Uh, why does that one have to be here? Fuck! This... Yeah, it's... uh. It's free on Game Pass, so I decided to give it a shot, and, and it's really fun. Nice. I don't know what any of this is, or... <laughs> I don't know what most of this game is. And how it actually works with itself, but... It's fun. You sleep heavily, and when it's morning, your eyes feel sticky. Like they won't open. Gross, you got the eye boogies. You remember today's your birthday. Another year closer to death, at least. That, that sounds like me. I'm on an adventure. I'm learning new things. Uh, Is this what I'm supposed to be thinking right now? I'm on an adventure. You think about how scared you used to be of everything and can't help smiling as you get up. You find a package outside your door waiting for you. It's from your mom and cool to the touch. Ah, oh, thanks, mom. Look at the sprinkles. Looks delicious. It's inside is a birthday cake. She must have schemed to make sure it arrived refrigerated. 
A note says to my only son on his special day. You're about to cut a slice when you knock in the door. I'm busy. There's cake. You can't have any. <sighs> answer it. Can I help you? Yes, I have cake. You lovingly set the cake aside and go to answer Hi, the door. Cuz. Happy birthday. Oh. I uh brought Shit. a friend. I hope that's okay. You brought a lot more than a friend. I just woke up, dude. I'm not ready for this. Hey, hey. Couldn't oh, fuck off. By to see you. <sighs> can you go away so I can have my cake and eat it too? Your mom said she, or your mom said she sent over a cake and we brought some little presents. Nothing special. You could have brought anyone else, Jesse. Speak for yourself. I'm always special. It's a tradition for his, for the birthday boy to use a weapon friend to cut the cake. You up for us under? Uh, why did you bring him, dude? Uh. Sure. I won't have any watching uh my diet. I'd be happy to help cut. What do you think? What do you think? I mean, we don't have to follow tradition. I have a knife. His whole personality is his abs, guys. Do you know how to use it? I can vouch for that. Uh -huh. All right, then. Get cutting if you dare. Carefully slice the cake into even pieces, and Jesse takes a slice. Mmm. A special birthday cake flavor. So vanilla. So sugar. <sighs> you sure you don't want any, Sunder? Oh, sure. That's it. It's so fresh and moist. He said the M word. Oh, I'm sure. I've been on this diet so long. It's not even a temptation. But now's a good time to give Big Pop my little gift. Here. Sunder hands you a small box. Inside you find a small framed photo of him. Fucking... Thanks. I know this place is Jesse, so I thought I'd give you something to make it yours. It's you. Fuck it. You know it. <laughs> I hope you think of me. I hope you think of me when you see it. How? Uh... <laughs> I'm not sure what else you would think of exactly. Anyway, here, I got you a little something too. Ah, fuck yeah. Hat. This gives you an envelope. You open it to find assembly and goes instructions for a phoenix cap. Oh, how did I get that? It's a kit! Oh, it came with it? Nice. The hat looked a little dorky anime, but it sounded useful for the dungeon. Oh, hell yeah. Can't wait to make it. Good! I almost went with socks. Or whetstone. <laughs> oh, brave. Whetstones are really personal, man. I mean, I wouldn't mind letting Big Papa use one on me, but I wouldn't assume. <laughs> okay, okay, I get the message. Well, I didn't get one. Crisis averted. Well, Big Papa, you're another year older and wiser. Congrats. I'm glad you shared this birthday with us here on Verona Beach. Uh -huh. You literally could have brought anyone else. Besides Felix, Alex, Eric, whatever his name is. Lurking? No problem, my dude. I appreciate the alert. Yeah, it's been so much nicer since... Oh, wait. It's him. Yeah, it's been so much nicer here since you moved to town. La Rosa is way more fun. Anyway, have an excellent day, Anzum. I hope to see you soon. See ya. Sonder gives you a lingering kiss on the cheek on the way out. Bye. What's HBD? Happy birthday. Got it. You close the door behind them and consider how to spend your day. Eat the fucking cake, bro. There's no question. On your way home, you find new ingots, a few ingots to steal on your doorstep. Nice. They're heavy and cold, but wrapped in a ribbon. An attached note reads, for Big Papa. Is it from Eric? You carry it inside. Yep, it's from Eric. I'm using your shit. Chocolate truffles. What was that one thing that I, I couldn't make yet? Oh my god, there's so many things I need. Dark Prince recipe. Night armor. Fashion design. That's what I wanted to make. You could be... Yeah, yeah. I'll get to your guys' messages in a second. Truffle. Phoenix cap. I want to know what that is. Grilled cheese, bro. Sawyer. Look at that hat! Eyeshadow. And glitter eyeshadow at that. Let's make the truffles. Delicious. Alright, what's that sign? Creates a decoy. Learn how to be fashionable on a budget. How long does a decoy last?
Oh, right. Messages. I was looking up what to cook, and this might be a little complicated. The hot, the new hotness. Grilled cheese. What do you think? Is it too hard? Can we do it? It'll be fine. Hell yeah, dude. If you say so. Oh, shit. I was reading. I was checking my messages. A few minutes later, Sawyer arrives with groceries. Hi! I wasn't sure which recipe to follow, so I got a few different things. Oh, and since you said this was a date, I also got you a flower. You're precious. Isn't it cute? Uh, don't, don't answer that. It's fine if you don't like him. Um... Let's just cook and uh, it'll be the best date ever. Sorting through the bags, you find five different cheeses and various fruits. You can see fear in Sawyer's eyes as they look at the expensive ingredients. Let's make it simple. Yep. All right, simple I can do probably. Maybe. Actually, I'm not gonna. I'm going to get ahead of myself. We'll see what happens. He shows them how to grate cheese and melt butter in a pan. That wasn't so hard. The next step says we need to be some kind of weird TBSP cheese. <laughs> I love Sawyer. What's a tub sp? Two terrific t butter specimens. That's not right. It's a measurement. Tablespoon. <laughs> oh, I love you. Oh, big spoon. Seems easy to remember, though. Like in snuggling. Sorry if I asked dumb questions. I feel like I can be honest with you and ask you anything. You seem so nice, but are you secretly judging me? Nope, lie. That's awful. Nope. Good. I get judged enough in class. I'm sick of worrying about points. Oh, wait. I know how to help. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Now I can cut the bread. And the cheese. Sure. Don't cut the cheese. I prefer a bread knife. Sure. You awkwardly cut... Oh, shit. You awkwardly cut the bread with Sawyer's blade. They're a bit long to do so comfortably. Uh-huh. Uh, I didn't know you were going to do that. That was less awesome than I hoped. I guess I'm better for killing monsters. Maybe if there were a monster made of bread, I'd be sad. <laughs> you assembled the cheese and the bread and put it in the frying pan. Not gonna lie. I make a banging grilled cheese sandwich. So good. So, random question. Did you go to college? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, you already done? Wow, that's so cool. Sorry if my question was random. I didn't mean to pry or anything. I wanted to ask because you seem like you have it all figured out. I lie. Or, I fake it. But if you graduated, did that make sense? Maybe I'll be like you someday. Wait, do you smell that? Is there baby burning? It looks like the heat was on high, even though the recipe said medium heat. You have created burnt mess. Aww. Aw, man. What? I can't even make the simplest grilled cheese. Really? I feel so stupid. I hate this. Maybe this is all pointless. Let's try again. Uh... Do we have to? Your encouragement seems to calm them down. They look at you and take a deep breath. Okay, okay. I can do this. Medium heat. You got this. I believe in you. You carefully reassemble the sandwich and put it in the frying pan on medium heat. You carefully flip the sandwich. The scent of melting cheddar fills the air. You have created a delicious grilled cheese. Da -na -na -na. We did it! Uh, let's see. Flailing. When glaive returns from being thrown, do damage to all nearby enemies. That's huge. Oh. That's actually a hard choice. Because I like using that to get to the things that are in the back that are causing issue. And then usually that means I'm surrounded by something. That looks like the sploosh emoji, by the way. But coming back into my hand sounds pretty dope. Well, wow. might have to try and both. Wow! Cooking is real transformation. Way more magical than people turning into swords. You sure about that? They wolf down their sandwich a bit too quickly, burning their mouth. Blow on the cheese, bro. Ow, 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 phew. That was amazing. Plus, the ingredients were for like three bucks. Hell yeah, dude. If I cook instead of going to restaurants, I might be able to afford textbooks someday. You wanna... Hey, I, I got you some truffles. Some truffle? Hell yeah, dude. Yes, 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 and yes. Yes to all of them. Any other gifts others you might have. Where his phone beeps, they glance, they glance at it and their draw drops. 
bridge. <laughs> I love that. There's been a Roses of Ve Venus sighting in Verona Beach. I've got to go. Roses of what? Yeah. Whoa. Seriously, they're the coolest artists in the world. They graffitied the Louvre. Yeah. The Louvre? You mean Louvre? Lovre? <laughs> I'm not sure how to say it. The French Museum. But they graffiti for good. What's up, Yuri? Welcome to the stream. Did you want a cookie? It landed right, like, between her face and her paw. The, the Louvre. Stop with the real message, but dream like truth and beauty bombs, you know? Anyway, I've got to go see the mural for myself. Later, chef. See you, Sawyer. Sawyer bundles up and left up the leftover cheeses and hurries up. All right, they know how to make grilled cheese now. That's awesome. There's a, there's an R it. Aren't it? R in it. It's L O U V R E. Isn't it? Isn't that how you spell Louvre? Why does my mirror keep flashing? Oh, because I got that new uh, helmet. Uh, the grilled cheese put me in a sleep coma. They should sell it as sedative. Tastiest sedative in the world, in the West. Glad you liked it. Very much. I like Sawyer. Oh, fuck off, Eric. No one likes you. Oh my god. I heard it's a special day today. Oh, that was yesterday. It's the exact middle of summer. Crazy, huh? I guess that means your trip is halfway over. I guess it's also your birthday or something. So this isn't your steal? Nope, not me. Whatever you're talking about. Jack and I can help myself. Enjoy. Don't eat too much shake. Hey, I have news I think you're going to want to hear. Come by my shop and we can make a trade. Ugh. Just have to not eat one before a test, huh? Oh, but I forgot to tell you. Sawyer is precious, dude. Look how excited they are. I'm trying to read. I was so pumped from yesterday that I made breakfast. All by myself. The egg wasn't blackened at all. Dude, I'm so fucking proud of you. I cut the bread myself, too. Huh? I feel so powerful. Achievement unlocked. Aw. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I love Sawyer. How about a movie? I could go for a horror action. Action. I don't do horror. Horror scares me. Okay. How about we see the dungeon? What? Wait, are you actually asking me to go to a dungeon? It's showing at 6.30 most nights. I heard it's good. Let me know. It's expensive. Are you going to pay for it? Meet you inside. Don't bring the fan club. Okay. I want to check out that hat. The end is just begin Reside revives you once. That's huge. Look at me go. I'm an actual anime character. Yeah, Louvre. The R is so subtle, I've only heard it pronounced with an R. <laughs> I think that's just... English people. Oh, hold on, I got a message. God damn. Suddenly my Etsy stuff's all picking up again, and I haven't even touched it in a while. Cool. I sold the dragon skin ones. Nice. Um... Got a date there. I don't want to go on a date with this guy. I almost did. He's a... What's up, Rooster? Welcome to the stream. I found many of them. You find Eric reading a book behind the counter. He brightens as you approach, carefully closing the book. It's so good to see you. Yeah. Really? You look great. Fit. The dunge must be giving you a good workout. You have information? Eric smiles, though his eyes seem cold and distant. Hmm. Strictly business, huh? I was getting to that. Well, I thought you might want to know what I discovered about the dungeons in my research. Mm -hmm. Did you know they manifest your fears? The monsters actually come from inside you. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Well, you don't have to be all huffy about it. You're kind of a dick, dude. I I'm just here for the weapons. I was thinking since the dungeons are all about your fears, then couldn't we just, like, ignore them and then they'd go away? Seems like it'd be safer, too. 
But even if you want to fight monsters, the fact that it's your fear suggests you have control. Hmm. I think we could even speed run dungeons if we wanted. Skip straight to the bottom. Fight the boss monster immediately. I figured out how. But... Eric pauses, looks you in the eye with a mischievous grin. I said this would be a trade. How about... I'll tell you about my speed run strat for the low, low price of one kiss. On the cheek. Nope. Hmm. I don't need this. Oh, fine. What about a smile? Just one nice, handsome smile. Nope. There goes silent, the warmth leaving his face. <sighs> Some people are just so selfish. They get good looks, attention, offers of knowledge, and they can't even share the tiniest part of their happiness. I don't owe you shit, dude. Fucking tell me to smile. Look at... This guy's an asshole. I hate this guy. The shape slips... The shape slips silently into view, graceful as water. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? And why have you been... Your head cut off. Eric, you want to explain this? Enemy. Oh, God. The stranger stares at you with an intensity bordering on excitement. Eric hesitates before waving his hand with a huffy sigh. No. Not an enemy. Return to your sheath. I thought you didn't like... people that were weapons. Oh, I hate you even more now. The stranger slips away with a rustle of silk. Since you apparently know everything, you won't need to ask any questions about him. Good day. Eric pointedly reopens his book and ignores you until you leave. What the fuck was that? I didn't like that. Alright, what do we got here? We got... Let's go uh, on a date with Isaac. Catch him up. Are the weapons monsters too? Uh, possibly. We found out one of them that we have is a vampire. The church sanctuary makes a surprising good combat training space. Wait, what? Mm. Mm. You're improving, but your parry is actually a bit too consistent. You could try going a bit slower or faster, or try a new parry direction. Surprise is the spice of life. And fencing. Go on. Take a stab at it. Throw your weapon. <laughs> Very quickly. Yes, just like that. Perfect form. Just love you. You have a perfect form too. Are you flirting with me? Mm -mm. Certainly not. I, I mean, I do think you're attractive, but I meant the com comment purely professionally. I show you. Now, let us resume. He practice parries and lunges for a while. <laughs> nice work. You even have me sweating. And guard! You launched into a new duel and he doesn't spare you an inch. He deflects every thrust, easily knocking them aside and squaring on you. Have mercy! Oh? I'm sorry. I've been a selfish teacher, haven't I? No, I'm just playing along, dude. I was pushing your boundaries rather carelessly. I didn't mean to show off. I get impatient sometimes, I suppose. And you handled me rather well, I must say. Da -na -na -na. The post timing is more forgiving. Oh, so much better. The post knocks it. Yeah, that, the mm -hmm. timing of that was brutal. We could continue or take a break. How are you feeling? Why are we in a church? That. Your fencing gear suit. Why are we in a church? He takes off the fencing jacket, looking around. My mother raised me in this church. It's a comforting place. Hmm. If dungeons were your family tradition, church was ours, I guess. She came from the community, mostly, but I took it more deeply. Oh, she came for, not from. There are so many mysteries in this life, Big Papa. Some people suffer, others become swords. A hmm. purpose is helpful. You believe in God of some kind. I don't know. Questioning and open-mindedness are important. Even so, I hope you decide one day. Briefly, belief can be really strengthening, one way or the other. At least we can agree that love is power, not just lust. Real, generous, patient love. Hmm. I'd like to think that love can connect everyone, no matter what deity we believe in or don't. Agree. 
There are so many suffering people. I want to help them all. You're a good guy. I know you like talking business and I see it as a more powerful tool. I started Books Associates to tackle wealth inequality, but most wealthy people aren't interested. Of course they're not. He releases a long exhal exhalation, shaking his head. Anyway, I wanted to thank you for handling my father so gracefully before. Mm. Vincent can be a difficult man. Lots of saber rattling. I don't understand it. Is he a businessman too? We all have our bad days. Is he a businessman too? Of sorts, I suppose. He has money, but he inherited almost all of it. My father sees working as something workers do. He can't understand wanting to even play, wanting to even the playing field. He wants what he thinks is best for me. Still, perhaps I should try to say something. But no matter how sharp I get, I can never get a word in edgewise. How do you work up to the courage to do go into the dunge, even when you're afraid? Your dad's a dunge monster? <laughs> oh. Please plunge in. Yeesh. I tried that with Vincent once, as a teenager. It did not end well. I think I still have a scar on my hilt from that scuffle. It was an accident, but still. We all have our own strategies for survival. Even in human form, I find it easier to parry than go on the offensive. A crown starts filtering in. Perhaps service will start oh. soon. Oh, out of time already. How it flies. Next time, I'll make sure we don't get interrupted. Would you like to offer a gift? Hey, do you want... Uh... Want some of this? Oh, what a nice brand. I'll have to make you an old-fashioned sometime. Good day, Big Papa. You will. Later, Isaac. You at home. You gotta get to work. Oh, it looks like your text changed. That was weird. Have a good night at work, dude. Thanks for popping in. I appreciate you. Uh, thanks. Thank you for coming to practice. I'm so pleased with your pro. I'm so pleased with your progress. What's the right emoji to use? Can we tell Isaac about the eggplant emoji? I'm going to tell him this and wonder if he keeps using it. I. What if. Hear me out. What if. We tell him what em emoji to use. Right. And he ends up using it all the time. Like. Conversing with us when he gets excited. And then. It's always the hand job eggplant one. Or worse, what if he starts using it with other people? <laughs> I'm not going to do that to him. Okay, there you go. See, like that. Let's go to the dungeon. Just like that. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, we have a date. Uh, let's go on a date with uh, Seven, I guess. You and Seven find your seats in the movie stars. As the movie starts. Oh, we just got it. The film features a virtuous hero struggling against the odds to save her son. We can't do this, but we have to work together. Or we can do this, but we have to go work together. I bet the son's gonna become a. I bet the son's gonna become a sword to save her. A katana, maybe. Before long, the sidekick dies, and Seven frowns. Eventually, the hero mother emerges victorious, son standing proudly beside her. The light comes. Lights come up, and you leave the theater. Oh man, maybe I set my expectations too high. I mean, it was fine. What did you think? I like the adrenaline. <laughs> Your heart rate goes up when watching this stuff? You, the dungeon hero? That's kind of funny. Would you like to offer a gift? I don't know what you want. Chain lightning can reach further. Chain lightning stun, ooh. Let's go with that one for now. Oh, wow. Hi, guys. I totally didn't know you'd be here. Hey. Seven makes face as if pleading silently for rescue. We were just leaving. I haven't seen you around the cafe lately, but I wanted to give you something. Seven, I, I wrote this personal yeah. letter. All right. I'll take it. Fans are important to me. Uh -huh. You just said that. Uh, no, that is... Sorry. Can you deliver it for me? That's for Sungwoo. My ultimate bias. 
You didn't give it to him for me. Pretty please, please. That's creepy. He stares at her for several seconds. Uh -uh. <laughs> Seven walks huh? away. Well, fame sure has got to his head, huh? No, that's really uncool for you to actually ask. Lady is holding an envelope. Sung Woo is written on it in hearts for O's. I'll just have to figure out where Sung Woo's staying, I guess. That's creepy. That, yeah, that's stalking. It's not stalking if I don't bother him. It's just a letter. Nothing creepy about it in it either. Olivia, it's creepy. Don't do that. The names in the movies. Shrouded Isle, Lucifer within, within us, Moon Hunters. Hmm. She's always dreamy and wanders away. You head home. Don't do that, Olivia. That's weird. Had to go. Sorry. It's all good, man. All right. Valeria. Oh. There's someone else here. I forgot about that. Oh, it's the cat! You find a familiar orange cat, tail flicking. You sit on a bench nearby. His color reads, pocket. Here, kitty, kitty. I must pet him. He seems not to hear you and yawns. He then stands and stretches luxuriously, seemingly ignoring you. Okay, quickly becomes distracted and tends to sup, looking at the pond next to you. He follows gaze and see happy ducks enjoying the weather. Pocket stares intently at the ducks, mouth slowly falling open. Gonna pounce? Quietly bird watch with him. Pocket licks his paw. This is clearly not a contact sport. Fucking the cat is a weapon. Finishers immobilize enemies, but they can still attack. Okay. Oops, I missed that, whatever. Pocket looks at you expectantly, tail flicking. So, you like the dunge? So, you were a cat? <laughs> um, want a pet? Pocket narrows his eyes at you. Hey! Hi. Hey, Valeria! Your skin delaying conversation is interrupted by someone approaching. Are we having a double date now? Oh, a chance meeting. Oh. Oh, a chance meeting, my favorite kind. She leans over and kisses you lightly, a smile on her lips. <laughs> I love it. And this must be your valiant protector against the evil ducks. Pocket blinks lazily in the sunlight. A soft purr starting up. Huh? Can I pet him? I don't know. If he lets you. Oh, kitty don't like you. She offers her hand to him, but he hisses when he when she tries to move in closer. Fair enough. Everyone deserves to set their own boundaries, I guess. I just took a walk to clear my head. Gotta get back to work. <laughs> And away from these ducks. Be careful around them. Ciao. Her kiss goodbye is prolonged and sweet in the afternoon sun. When it ends, you open your eyes and realize Pocket has slipped away. You sit for a while longer than hen home. What the fuck? I was there for the cat. Pocket. Looks like he's headed to the park. Okay. Oh, someone's. You made it home safely. Thank you. How the. I'm so confused. You mean Jose Faye's claws look healed too? He's a good cat. He got in trouble. He got in trouble? He's too smart to be good. Has too many ideas and plans. I know I sound crazy, but never mind. Oh, look. Oh, it looks like he's ready to go out again. Let him out! False alarm. He came back inside. Never mind. Maybe next time. Okay. Oh, goodness. So, what's it like living on the edge? You know, cuz, swords, kissing them, etc. Very funny. So, you like it when my words have a dual meaning, huh? Get it? Yes, Mom. <laughs> Oh, come on. I'm being perfectly acceptable. I love mom. Okay, I'm done for now. Still thinking about the movie. The characters were so stupid. Man, don't be pretentious. The villain should have seen them coming. Fictional characters make the worst decision. Makes a good story. So if someone writes my biography, will they make me look dumb to sell more copies? I hope not. Oh, well. Ugh, you're pretentious. Later. 
Um, I can't make any more stuff, right? Yeah. What's the fish for? Is that gonna be for Sawyer too? Oh, it is a separate date. Love that. Oh shit! Why are you mad? Valeria is sitting at the, on a park bench, glaring at the nearby ducks. Her expression softens as she sees you. Hey. Oh hey, you came. I'm really glad. I wasn't sure if you would after how things ended. I asked you to go home for me. I asked you to go home with me for all the wrong reasons. But I don't regret our time together, not one bit. Uh, I wish I'd have been. I don't know. Wrong reasons. Huh. Yeah, it's all a bit complicated. I can talk about it, but... The sound of loud quacking interrupts her. Ah, shut up, ducks! Can you believe that noise? I hope you're not one of those people that feeds ducks at the park. Uh, why don't you like ducks? I am. Ugh. Well, do you know the risks? You should take better care of yourself. A friend of mine lost a finger to a duck. Got to close with a piece of bread and then... Valeria snaps her fingers. <laughs> Gone, just like that. Is that true? Because I don't think they can take a finger. <sighs> Larry's lips twist into a rueful grimace and she sighs. Okay, maybe I exaggerated, but only a little. I love her. Um... And I um, promise not to laugh. It didn't happen to a friend. It was me. I was just going to say that. Larry holds up a hand showing a faint scar on her index finger. It's only a scratch. Oh, but that sounds mean. All right, I could kiss it better. She extends her hand, you look her in the eyes, and kiss the tip of her finger. Aw. She shivers, and you slide your lips down to her palm. Okay, that's a little much. And her wrist. After a long moment, she pulls her hand back and smiles shakily. <laughs> you're a, you're a, a good at that. The sound of log quacking interrupts your moment. I can't believe you did that in front of the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever will they think? Would you like to offer a gift? Hey, you want, you want a teddy bear? Here, have a teddy bear. She doesn't like the teddy bear. Fuck. Nah, you can keep that. Thanks anyway, though. Shit! Would you like the camera? Next time we'll go on a date without the risk of a duck. Fuck. Shit, she didn't like that. Attacks do critical damage to confused enemies. Okay. Ooh, that works well with this one. Hmm. We were talking about something important before. Right, I remember. I was going to... I'll quickly explain. Jake. You don't have to. It's your business. Yeah. Unfinished business, to be specific, that followed me to Verona huh? Beach. So that guy, right? Who keeps showing up? His name is Jake. I dated him for a couple of years. Uh... And, uh, I dated his sister as well. At the same time, I mean, they both knew. Haha! <laughs> Dual wielding! I made that joke earlier. You dated siblings? How did that work? Uh, I want to do all three of these. Dual wielding. <laughs> yeah, I suppose I was. Trust me, it was even more work than it sounds. We messed up a lot at first, but we learned. Got better at being together. I was young and in love and thought we'd be together forever. Jake and Jessica and me, three artists against the world. We were everything to each other. We had the same goals, believed in the same things. And then? Greed and pride and ambition got in the way, as they usually do. Jessica wanted more. More recognition, more adventure, more everything. I wanted things to stay as they were, which was foolish. Nothing stays the same. I moved to Verona Beach looking for a fresh start. Jake followed me. Creepy. I know you haven't, you haven't had the best impression of him, but he's a good person. Really. He's in love with you. You argue a lot. I don't like any of those responses. Can I just be quiet? I don't like either of these options. Do 
argue a lot. I was in a three-way relationship with him and his sister. We broke up acrimoniously, acrimoniously a few months ago. Are you surprised we argued? It's a complicated situation. I'll give you that. <sighs> Look, I know Jake's been a bit of an idiot, following us around and all. I'll talk to him about it. Get him to back off. For real this time. Anyway, enough about my drama. I got you a little gift. Here. She got me a hat! A <laughs> beret. I saw it in the museum gift shop and thought of you. <laughs> Thanks. You don't have to wear it. But you'll look dashing if you do, I'm sure. But you know, I'd love to show you my work sometime. You know my paintings if you wanted. Absolutely. <laughs> and it's a date. I've had new inspiration lately. Ciao. I look forward to seeing what you think. Next time. You have a lot to think about as you leave. The afternoon light fades into evening. Before you come over, I gotta clean. I mean, it won't be clean clean. I'm not a nun. But this muffin from 2016 needs to be <laughs> evicted. Hot <laughs> dude. Hot dude. Blair and I are the same person. Uh, I'll let you know when it's, when its smell is gone too. In the meantime, I found some cool art by them all. Did you see this? <gasps> you can zoom in! I love it. I love murals. Did you do it? Maybe we can check it out together sometime. Absolutely. Alright, let's go dunge. As the kids say. So that one I guess we don't want to do anymore. Um, let's... Let's play with the cat. Brass knuckles. I don't remember what the ability of the cats does. Holy crap, these are fast. Ho ho ho! That's a jump move. Dude. That's a jump move. That's dope. It goes through the freaking walls. This weapon is broken. Broken. Oh, locked him up. Nice. Oh, right. I have less life and stuff now. Or er, less heals. Oh, shit. I like the jump attack. It's pretty sweet. Silver ring. Oh, right. She likes jewelry. Oh, that silver ring is for her. Fuck. I don't know who the bear was for. Nope. I have $124. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take this, please. Racing game? Fuck yes, dude. What's a racing game? Are right, we found a way down? What is liquidate? Oh, fuck. It only gives me a liquid? That wasn't even worth it. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Bad martini glass. There's a big thing in there. Oh, it's one of those. Yeah, stay over there. 
Ooh, two presents right next to each other. Love that. Ah! Freaking fast. Intense purring. The cat dude would be loving some murder. Find gold chain. All right, we got two things for Valeria now. Who's the bear for? Summer dress. Whoa, let's play some music. You find an empty stage ready for performances. Pocket leaps up on the stage and sniffs around. Would you like to offer a gift? Oh, cool. Oh, fish. Fuck yeah, dude. Pocket buries his face in the head in the fish immediately chowing down wholeheartedly. Pocket curls up next to the one stage. It's cool that you don't, you don't lose your gifts if you give it to someone. Stage lies cozy against the wharf. Pockets fur against the light. Just cast spiky shadow behind him. Put on a puppet show. You amuse yourself with the shadows while Pocket snoozes. He doesn't seem to care. After only 10 minutes, he springs awake, awake, and alert for his power nap. Pocket meows a defiant battle cry. <laughs> oh, Pocket. You silly, silly kitty. All right, who we... Sawyer. Oh, man. We could do everyone. Let's get Sawyer. Letting pocket out again, nice. Ooh. Ooh. Get over here. There you go. Wait, wait. I gotta read that. Okay, letting pocket out. We live near the Paradise Lost Cafe, so probably look around there if you want to find him. Okay. probably avoid picking those up if I don't need them. Also, I don't need to really break them. If I don't need them, huh? Alright, I like that combo. Ow. There we go. Took a wee bit of damage. Sawyer, you two shot them. That was awesome. Aim at him. Thank you. Oh yeah, let's let's victory dance music. Oh, we can't. Bummer. Loot, but not a loot box. I hope. <laughs> Sun hat. Nice. Ah, <gasps> lovely. Sawyer stretches, enjoying the night air. Would you like to offer a gift? Do you want some pizza? I mean, uh, thanks so much. This is pretty cool. Oh, look, the stars are out. It's been a while since I've seen them. I used to go scar stargazing with my aunt. She'd tell me about the constellations. The stag, the queen's throne, the rose, the open hand. I love them. I don't know those. Which is your favorite? Oh, I haven't thought about it for a while. When I was younger, my favorite was probably the rose. See, in the northeast, there was a witch, Kubella. It was so beautiful, her name became a love spell. I mean, she was probably just a cool lady, but it's fun to think she's in the stars. I don't know what the constellation of Big Pop would look would look like. Something silly, something deadly, something sexy. Silly. Yeah. My thoughts exactly. Come on, let's go build your legend. Crap. So, oh, you are Max. Perfect. Alright, Valeria. Let's mess some things up. Although I should do her last. Because she's probably the strongest of them all. And the deeper you go, the harder, the harder it gets. It's fine. Flopping into a seat feels good. You realize that you're more tired than you thought. Fighting takes a lot out of you, doesn't it? I don't have any to offer you. 
Maybe we, we've been pushing ourselves too hard lately. <sighs> Larry stifles a yawn. But it's not too late to learn from our mistakes. It's safe. How about a quick cat nap? Absolutely. Valeria's lips quirk up into a fond smile. I'll stay in this shape just in case we get ambushed. Okay. She slips her helmet into your hand and you soon doze off. When you open your eyes, Valeria's already up and her edges are gleaming. That was perfect. I'm all charged up. Let's go. Hell yeah, dude. All oh, right, new weapon. Ouch. Fuck, I don't remember her attacks. Oh, right, when things get confused, I do more damage. Okay, so I gotta roll away and hide. Lips. How come you guys aren't confused? Oh god. Stop blowing your heart circles. Heart circles? Weapons. Attacks. Ouch. Holy crap. Too many things. Gee willikers, Batman. Okay, it's whenever I dodge, so I should just be using it willy nilly. Let's go pick up that health. Also, I gotta remember I can put stuff to sleep. I never use my power. Whoa! Dark essence, nice. Also, I have a dark and a light essence now. Ow, that was rude. Oh. Use that to dodge out of there. That was dope. Whoa! You move fast. Travel guide. What would that be for? I feel like I shouldn't. Oops. Hmm. Using him is so hard. I'm gonna die here. At least there's a... Oh, you do a lot of damage now. At least there's an elevator. Ow, fuck. That was almost all my life. Half my life. Glue. Love it. Okay, it seems we're getting the more complicated... Shit. Things now. remember how the uh, the parry worked at first <laughs> oh the noble game of billiards a game of skill uniting kings and wastrels you rack up the balls and start to play isaac isn't bad but seems distracted something wrong mm -mm. it's nothing really i just often wish i could try that original 1500s version the green velvet is so modern maybe it's because this version is a favorite of my father's but mm -hmm. I'd rather be under the sun on the grass, even using a mace instead of a cue, perhaps. That's croquet. True, it did evolve into croquet as well, eventually. The little wickets are rather charming too. It was nice too, though. Life is the art of making the best of what we have. Uh, want some vodka? There you go. How can I refuse such a thoughtful gesture? Thank you, big papa. When life gives us monsters, we make monster aid. He hesitates for an extra moment. But to be clear, let's not actually drink the monsters. <laughs> Just never mind. Ah, you got all awkward. Love that. Sneakers. Fuck yeah, dude. Keep your love hearts away from me. That, it was booping. Oh, damn it. Let me drink that at the the beat with the music. It was great. I didn't counter any of that. It lied to me. Okay, the counter is pretty dope. 
yeah, the, the extra forgiving thing is fucking amazing. Stop it. I'm trying to kill things here. Stop it. God. <laughs> I could not hit him for the life of me. Spooky time. Ooh. I really need to... There was a heal over here, right? No, I drank it because I'm an idiot. Damn it. Okay, laser saber. A company invested in something. He's inviting me out to an investment business date or something. Ah, oh, fuck me. I was wondering why it was showing red on my screen. Seven releases a long exhale as if he's been holding his breath. You sit qu together quietly on one of the benches. Can't see that many stars here in Veroni Beach anymore. Too much light pollution. When I was growing up, I loved stargazing at the constellations. I even had a little telescope. You like mythology? You like science? <laughs> Both the science and the myths, I guess, yeah. Giant balls of gas, who are also heroes and creatures. I checked my favorite constellation every night, the Pale Dancer. An old goddess of death and victory. Um, when we moved to Seoul, I couldn't see constellations anymore. I watched music videos instead. Can you see the constellation now? Yeah, the main three stars anyway. Look, there, just over the chim chimney for a triangle. He points and you squint. Eventually you find the triangle of stars he means. <laughs> Even just this little rest has recharged my batteries, I think. Let's get back to it. Seven stands and stretches it. Seven stands and stretches into his energy blade. He feels warmth in the electric crackle. That's should be a dialogue, not a, vo a voice box. Fuck. Yeah, that was stupid of me. I need life. I'm gonna go this way. Ooh, thing. Alright, I found a special market. Although they're always... I just spend money to go check out... Uh, a market, which... Really not the, the biggest fan of... Bubbles. Hard bubbles. Get out of here. Almost hit me with a few of those. Alright, I thought I already had that one. Oh shit. Everyone go to sleep. Fuck. I thought I could dodge that. Still alive, bro. Die. 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 I hope you're leveled up. Because I don't want to use you anymore. I'm not good with you. Potted succulent? Fuck yes, dude. I want a little plant. Who would like plants? Maybe, uh, maybe that's actually one for him. Seven. He's just hard to do because I don't know what he wants. Leave. Oh, snap. They're leveled up. Oh, fancy. So this is where all our high shelf liquors went. Weird not to have a dance floor, though. It seems like it, it, incur it encouraged way too much talking. <laughs> I mean, I love talking with you, of course, but most people aren't worth the time. You don't ask the right questions. Yeah, I hate small talk. Exactly. Life is for enjoying the moment. 
not the analyzing, and certainly not the weather report. Even if I live for 500 years, I, won't want to wa I wouldn't want to waste any of it on chatter. But I love spending hours dancing, or being your weapon. Mm. So let's get back at it. Green lasers. Oh, I thought it would stun it. Like the other ones, damn it. Took that damage for no reason. Fuck. Oh my god, that's a lot of things. Why are you fast? Oh, that still hit me. Rude. Whew. Yeah, we're, we might have to go back. Things are kicking my ass. Oh, I can break that. Life, I need life, I need life. I'll take it. I'm sure I've missed my sword missed or matches my outfit. That's pretty cool. I'm sure I've missed uh, a couple of those broken walls. I just totally tuned them out. Life, please. There's life. Yeah, stay over there. All right, can I fight these up here? Shit! <laughs> I was not expecting you to come see. That's why I didn't take the life. Mark Sky alone. Shit. Nice. Okay. Fox Hood. I wonder if I get a bunch of like fish and stuff for the cat. Oh, that one wasn't a heal. That was a refill. You know what? Let's keep going. You didn't level up. Oh. them. I'm surprised that didn't hit me. Don't grab that. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, that hit me. Come on. pick this up since it's a pickup, not a, a heal. Alright. Remember to put people to sleep. Oh, crap. I forgot to check. I got that other Zyme. What was it? I don't remember. 
If you want VIPs, get out of here. I don't know, maybe they are in Monster World. I want this. That's too many things coming at my face. Oh, dude, he came in hot. Did you see that? All right, we found the stairs. We found a rest point. Billiards. Who would waste this wide, gorgeous room on pool table instead of a dance floor? Variety's right, good. Hmm. It is. I'd rather just spend all my time with you. No need for variety here. Dude, you come on way too strong. Besides, I'm not sure if that applies here. A dance floor supports a large, huge variety of dancers. I normally play club music, but people could do break dance, ballet, roller dance, whatever. Instead, there's just these boring tables and balls. Oh well. There's no accounting for taste, huh? Let's find somewhere more exciting to be. coming in hot look at them sometimes they come in like exploding real fast or like charging real fast how much experience was that worth Ooh, money oh lots of money love that i would really like a health thing okay um Did I find another exit? I did. Wait, this is the... Not the thing I've done. I just forgot to go into it. A dozen red roses. Okay. Who is the creepy... Medusa murder samurai that Eric has. That's still in my brain. Made me very uncomfortable. Maybe that's his, like, personal demon, huh? Change weapon. Here we go. Alright, let's do... He's so hard to do because I don't have stuff for him. Larry, I can just make you a bunch of jewelry. Oh, I got a lot of messages. Uh, Jesse said he's worried about you and one of your boyfriends. You wouldn't tell me why, though. Are you okay? I'm fine. What are you worried about? I'm sure you can handle it, but maybe I can help? What's wrong with the boyfriend? I mean, I think he's lying to me. How do you know it's love? How do I choose who to love? Sounds like you're getting popular over there. I hope you're still you still come home in September. We haven't talked about it, but you're monogamous then? Not really. I haven't really I haven't committed to anyone yet. Then don't choose, just check in with your partners. If you communicate, I'm sure it'll be fine. As fine as any anyone ever is anyway. Good luck out there, sweetie. Love. The company I invested in is hosting a thank you party. It's a bit embarrassing, but the party is hosted by Slicer, the dating app for weapons. Will there be monsters? No, no. We weapons can do more than fight. Monsters, you know. Would you do me the honor of being my date? Sure. Excellent. I'll be at the Verona Hotel ballroom. He would have responded like that. Damn it, I should have done the dicks thing all the time. Oh, spikes in the floor. That's dangerous. Feeling like a break? Sure. Now, what do we have we here? Huh? Wow, this bar has all the whiskeys. A girl could get used to this. She slides, be she slides behind the bar, pours a double shot for herself, and raises an eyebrow at you. Sure, why not? 
Well, honestly, I could think of many reasons, but let's pretend we're drunken masters. Yeah. She pours you a drink and sips her own. Every muscle in her face relaxes in pleasure. Oh, she likes drinks too, damn it. Hmm, just kidding. Drunken masters are always hand-to-hand, -hand, no sharp edges. I'm just too dangerous for stumbling around. I wouldn't want to hurt you, after all. She becomes suddenly serious. Um... Unless I have to, that is. You know, to protect my secrets. Uh... <laughs> She winks and saunters away from the bar, leaving her empty glass. Okay. Why are we in the kink dungeon all of a sudden? Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I can't break these barrels, right? I can! Holy shit. Was there more barrels to break? What was that? That was... That was like a... A good shut elevator. Oh, big ones. Big lasers. can't just keep uh, spamming the dodge and hope for it. That's funny. <gasps> Shit. seem to be staying fused longer. Ooh. That's too many boys. I can't get out of there. Shit. Oh, so much murder with the crits. Love that. So much damage. Please and thank you. Ooh. Shiny, I say that. I love Valeria. Okay, I need life. Oh, I observed it all. Nice. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Oh, filled back up. Love it. I might have to leave because things are getting harder and fuck so close. He's just hard because I don't have anything to make him. Dodge that, boo. Fuck. Oh my god, you do so little damage, dude. Look at the presents up here. I'll take it. Devil presents. Mystery novel. Lucky earrings. Would that be on? Uh, oh, that's something for me. Novel might be for seven. Why am I always in the challenger? Oh shit! With seven, it sucks. Oh my god! There was three bosses in there. Oh, right. My helmet is awesome. Fuck! Oh, 
I could have taken that if I didn't just try to get that kill. I'm a worthy... I'm a swashbuckler. I'm a challenger. I'm a gladiator. I'm a brandisher. Holy crap, dude. I'm an adept. Almost a professional. It's almost time to leave to meet Isaac at his investor party. You realize you aren't sure what to wear to an investor party. Something serious, something comfortable. Nothing I own is good enough. Something serious? You dress with, pre with precision, every garment in perfect alignment. Then you wonder, what if you're overdressed? What if you look ridiculous? You change clothes a few times until it's too late. There's no time. Finally, put on the first outfit back on and run out the door. The lobby looks packed with an unusual cloud of young software types. The entry is blocked. Private event tonight. A pro private event tonight. You're on the list. Well, hello. This is the Brooks Associates. Big Pop. Big Papa knows everyone, huh? As it kisses your cheek and leads you into the party. I love your jacket. I must get your tailor's number. Thanks for coming. Your support means so much to me. Is your dad here yet? All oh, this is for you? Me and the other investors and employees. I hope my father makes it. I told him this guy loves us for his favorite charity. Where is he? Oh, fuck off. A familiar face approaches with a smirk. Hmm. I see Slicer invited two VIPs. Big Papa, is this weapon your date? None of your business. No. Ah, but this is exactly my business. Have you seen his blade? So fine and straight. Hmm. I'm standing right here. You sure are. Good job, you. Everyone loves a sharp-dressed man, hmm? Ah. Now, if you'll excuse me, I see a platter of shrimp puffs with my name on it. How does that ass know you, anyway? He owns a weapon shop. He was my first date. Oh? He better not have been. Oh, my. So there's more to this Isaac. story. Isaac! What is this hellscape? The whiskeys all have multiple malts. Good evening, father. Can we have a calm, civil conversation? This is most... Certainly not the foundation for dogs attending Harvard. That's a charity? You told me Dr. Muffin the Third would be here. Uh, uh well, uh, some of those people have dogs, I'm sure. These people's dogs haven't ever gra even graduated high school. What if I'm seen? Someone taps the microphone and the music is turned off. You lied to your dad. Ah, oh, that's not going to make anything better, dude. A slicer executive takes the stage and starts talking about the prophet in sword smooching. Sword smooching. Oh, right. It's a dating app. Vincent marches out the door. The slicer executive starts listing all the hardship they overcame and make, thanking their investors. Eventually, she names Isaac and Brooks Associates by name and special thank you for his generosity. You notice Isaac smiling to himself as the speech ends. Someone turns the music back up and the dance floor starts to fill. Well, I don't think every, everything she said was true. My help wasn't necessary. If everyone were paid a living wage, we wouldn't need investors. True. We could also reduce the inheritance. But where'd my father go? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Fuck. He didn't like that. If only it were that easy. I'd love to pick a good dialogue option that says, I don't care about what he thinks. Let's get some fresh air. Isaac leads you outside. Vincent and Isaac's assistants, assistant are talking. Who's Vince? Oh. And this, that's when Isaac pooped his pants in front of the whole family. Wow, that's hilarious. Father. Oh, hi, Isaac. I'm gonna go. Oh, my worthless son. You're a piece of shit. Are you done with your faults? I wanted to show you that money, that my money helps people. Real people. Instead of obsessing over how much money others have, why not take care of yourself? You don't even have a partner. Unless don't tell me you're dating this disaster, I will fucking throttle you. Vincent gestures in your direction without looking at you. I'm the disaster? You big papa out of this. What matters to me is that I make a difference. <laughs> Funding these boars isn't making a difference. All you're making is a fool of yourself. Vincent gets in a town car and slams the door. The driver pulls away. Isaac sighs, staring after him. Well, now I can enjoy the party without distraction, I guess. Are you okay? Yes. I'm alright. I knew this was likely going to happen. 
All he wanted is a good job, but nothing with him is ever simple. Come on, let's forget him. I'll introduce you to a few people. Your friendship is my most valuable investment yet. Isaac leans in and kisses you, twinning your hand with his. <laughs> Aww. What is this? LA is... Or is it LA? Hold any heavy attack to charge up into a more powerful move. Hey. That perhaps a small gift for the gentleman? Hey, he gave me a flower! Thanks, dude. I bought you that little thing. I don't know if it's your style, but I'd like you to have it. Thanks. Wonderful. Now let's see what kind of music that DJ has started to play, hmm? You rejoin the party and spend the rest of the evening together. You stumble out of the dunge, tired and sweaty, breathing hard. We weren't in attention. Your weapon transforms. Mm. A fine performance. All factors considered next time, hmm? What does that sound? <laughs> oh no, it's that creepy thing! A whispering hiss stirs the underbreath at the shadow shift, slithering. You are creepy. He's advancing towards you slowly. Hello again? Stay back. <laughs> the stranger smiles widely and takes another small step closer. Your skin crawls. He raises his blade arm and swings in an arc, narrowly missing you. His intent is aggressive. I advise a tactical retreat. Go! Split up and run in the night. Why did we split up? It doesn't seem like he follows you, but you still lock the door behind you quickly when you arrive home. What the fuck, bro? Racing game. Potted plant. Oh my god. Let's do that spooky sign. It's a goober. I want to know what this racing game is. It's actually a game. Look at all these things. That could be for a uh, Sawyer, probably. Oh my God, I can make all these. Oh, not quite. There was a bunch of things I couldn't make. <gasps> Console! Oh! Whoa! No way. Ah! It's like Mario Kart, but I'm a ladybug. I'm gonna get you. Okay, maybe it's not Mar Mario Kart. Bonk. Look at me go. The drifting. Nope. Get out of my way. No. No. Okay. <laughs> what is this? Wait. No. Bonk me. Holy crap. I can't even do this on easy. Holy crap. I can't even do this on easy. Alright, what do we got? Oh my god. A lot of messages. So, hey, so the dunge, right? Oh, wait, I don't need new voices here. That means you work... In the gig economy? Uh, the gig economy? I don't know. Well, I'm pretty sure so. I should have said I guess. I have an assignment for my economics class. If you have a minute, I'd love to interview you. Come to Paradise Lost when you can. Oh shit, that's where the cat's gonna be. Did you do something? Something I should know about? Like what? I was attacked. Like what? I don't know. Never mind. I know what happened. Uh, sorry. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? 
What a creep. Can you believe you've already been in Verona Beach for most of the summer? I can. It feels like it's been forever. I miss you. How's it going? What'd you do today, sweetie? Just working the dunge? Just kissing some swords? Just kissing some swords? Be careful. Swords are sharp. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying yourself responsibly. The only young ones. Uh. Oh, shit. Even for a friend of Eric, that individual was strange. I hope Eric is safe, too. I had a great time last night. Surprise. Now I'm warmed up for facing your fears in the dungeon. Whoa, you got a lot. Of, uh, my agent gave me comp tickets to a concert. It's pro it'll probably be awful. Some local newbies... Some newbie locals doesn't even have light sticks. Now, not that you need one since I'll be there. Whatever, want to go with me? Fine. Okay, it's at La Rosa. Meet you there. I've been thinking a lot, and I've decided for sure. I don't want you to die. Okay. Thanks? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so wanna hang out? Summer nights are the best. No death allowed. Okay. Meet you at the beach at 9. I'm probably not gonna be there. Summer's almost over. Can't believe it went so quickly. Wait, what? You forgot! You're only here for the summer. That apartment lease is almost up, and you have to a flight home soon. Shit, does that mean I have to choose someone? Remember now? Do I have to go? Well, yeah, your mom would kill me if I left you become homeless. Anyway, I have some news. You're probably busy, but Eric's been acting even weirder than usual. I saw him by his shop the other night, and there were weird lights and sounds inside. I think maybe he's up to something, definitely. I'm thinking we just go over and just gather intel. You up for it? Uh. Let me out of it. Let's not do that. That sounds creepy. You 100% positive? There'll be an adventure you'll miss out on. Fine, I'll go. Great, meet me outside the weapon shop after it gets dark. Oh, this is creepy. It must be working because I'm lucky to have them. Look at my earrings. Enemies get sun when they damage you. Blocks the sun, not monster attacks. <laughs> Ooh. Averages heal more. Oh, look at my little hat. Enemies get sun when they damage you. Fancy French accent not included. What was I wearing? This thing. Also, check out the vine that I got. Chilling tales for all ideas scares most enemies. Uh. The sleepy one is still good. Alright. Got a dunt. What's the point of the gym? Oh, that's right. You can change your, uh. Tax. Let's go find the cat. You find Pocket sleeping in a sunbeam in a corner of the cafe. His fur looks unbelievably soft. It sounds like he's snoring a bit. Resist the temptation. He doesn't like being pet. Exercising superhuman straight, you sit quietly nearby, waiting for him to wake up. Olivia approaches. Hey. hey, Big Papa, who's your friend? Wait, that guy doesn't work here. At the sound, Pocket wakes up and jumps to his feet, fur huh? bristling. Oh, sorry, little guy. He's so cute. He was so cute a second ago. I love cats, but I wouldn't pet strays. It can be very stressful for them. He's not a stray, exactly. Hmm. Oh, come on, Nick. Not popping. Well, he well he hangs around out here, so I guess he has a collar. Someone must love him. I wonder what he's doing out here. Pocket licks his paw and rubs his face. <laughs> Aw, he's having a little bath. That's the cutest. Pocket stops looking to clear Olivia. Sorry, I'll leave you two in peace. As soon as she leaves, Pocket makes a small meow. 
Would you like to offer a gift? Do I have anything for you? I don't have anything for you. Shit. You decide not to give him a gift. You stare in his big yellow eyes. He stares right back. Pocket approaches your hand warily, making eye contact with you the whole time. Ah! Oh! He abruptly decides to nuzzle your hand, rubbing the side of your head. Yes! We pet the cat! Playtime. Enemies take extra damage when hit. While immobilized. Enemies are also briefly stunned when immobilized. He stops perking up. He stops perking up curiously as if to an unheard signal. Something has caught his attention. Watch where he goes. He slinks outside and you lose track of him. A few minutes later, you hear a cacophonous racket of hissing and growling. Shit! Okay, it's past at lightning speed. A rough looking street cat steps out of the alley, looks around, and goes back inside. What the fuck? Maybe I should have followed him. Oh no. The cat's not gonna bring lots of energy. Did you feed him anything? Nope. Not me. Oh, okay. Well, he's really into fish now. Oh shit! I fed him fish before. <laughs> I thought I meant like last night when he was acting all goofy. Or got in a fight. Let's go, uh, see if I can give Sawyer a thing. You find Sawyer and Olivia sharing a text box and comparing notes. Text box. Textbook and comparing notes. Oh, good! You made it! Olivia, meet Big Papa! Big Papa! Big Papa is my boyfriend, I think. Hey! Does everyone just assume I'm dating everyone? There's never been anything official or anything. You can go on a date and not be dating. It's different. Oh, we already really know each other a little bit. We hung out here, in fact. Funny. Well, Big Papa fits the bill of a gig economy worker, so... Who has college, college education. He fits the assignment. So let's start the interview. Cat. Wow. Aw, kitty. We should interview you instead. You're a gig economy worker, too. Uh, does he have a degree? I'll just go. I don't like either of these options. I'm not sure a cat counts as a gig. He gets room and board, you know. <laughs> the cat wanders huh? away. Sawyer, how could you be so rude to that poor exploited kitty? Hey, if you want to start a cat union, I'm on board. But we have homework to do. Okay, okay. Hmm. So, Big Papa, how much do you think a college education helps someone work better in the dunge? Not at all. Olivia furrows the brow a little. Okay, we know it's a dangerous job, but do you get any benefits from working in the dunge? Infinite bubble tea. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Sawyer, I'm sorry. That's nice, but not really the kind of benefit we need. I mean, traditionally, workers get health or life insurance, unemployment pay, minimum wage, or even a company car if the job requires it. This isn't that kind of job. Well, okay, but what opportunities for advancement do you have? I try to go deeper. I level up. They call me a sword suit smoocher. I try to go deeper. Sorry, friends, that their notes and exchanges to look with Olivia. Oh. Hmm. Well, according to this evaluation assignment, you're being a thoroughly you are being thoroughly exploited. And the more jobs like yours, the more unstable and fragile your economy is. Well, jobs like mine too. It's not like they pay weapons better. What have I done? Oh. So now on top of exams, I don't worry, I have to worry about contributing to exploitation. You're doing fine. Mm -hmm. Big Papa, Big Papa's right, you know. So you chill, it's not your fault. You're doing your best and you're still a student. Once you're graduated, you can do whatever you want, you know. So your sires and the cat returns, jumping up next to them and staring curiously. Well, I'm gonna go. I have other homework before my shift. See ya. Olivia waves and gives the cat a nick scratch on her way out. Sorry, 
thoughtfully pet, pets the cat, frowning at her softly. You okay? Yep. Yeah, I'm fine. Nothing new anyway. It's been like this for a while. I just have a big exam coming up and I don't feel ready for anything. It's fine. I'm fine. I should just focus on here and now, which means here and now, I should probably be brave and say, uh... a swallow, fingers fidgeting. I like you. I really, really like you. Aw. I'll finish yours. Wait, didn't I already have that? Meow, meow, meow. Oh, it's a cat. Oh, good point, kitty. I meant Big Papa, sorry. The cat goes back to sleep. So what do you think? Is it okay that I like you maybe a lot? Ah, these are awful. Uh, I don't like any of these options. This is gonna hurt them. This is way too forward. This sounds pretentious. Maybe this will just put them at ease, though. You can see them lead towards them and feel their breath warm on your lips. Oh. oh. Wait! Not in front of the kitties! Oh god, you're precious. The cat's tail twitches. You think maybe she rolled her eyes. Sorry to lead you outside. They hesitate, their hand in yours, you can feel them trembling. Is that fucking snake person gonna show up? As your lips brush theirs, you feel a jolt like an electric surge. So both options were a kiss option. Wow. Wow. I'm glad I took a risk. This is what it's like to enjoy the moment, huh? You spend the afternoon walking hand to hand, pausing for the occasional kiss. Aw. Eventually you head home. I got an A in the interview assignment. Proud of you. And I can't stop thinking about you. How about a kiss? Nice work. I'm pumped. Let's dunge. All right. Let's go kick some bootay. Uh. Oh, right. There's that thing. Wasn't there a cat date over there? What happened to Valeria? Hey. Hey, you ready to laugh at some small town garbage together? My ears don't bleed first. Hey, someone, everyone starts somewhere. <laughs> oh, well, you're that naive, huh? It's cute. In today's music world, most superstars are manufactured. That's true. The, the discovered indie is a myth. Sorry to burst your bubble. It'd be nice if it were true. Hmm? You both here for Marsyke and the McQueen? Seven. Seven of what? I only see two of you. No, oh, my name. It's seven. On the list, with Blade Generation. Oh. oh. Yes, sir. The bouncer waves you inside. You bump, in, you bump into someone at the entryway and lose sight of seven. Oh, fuck off. Uh, imagine meeting you here. Out on yet another date? Come on, Big Papa, this doesn't surprise me. Or impress me. I'm not trying to impress you. I liked being your first date. You weren't my... Was he my first date? And if he was, that was completely accidental. I liked your, I liked your inexperience and purity. Ugh. Nobody likes well-used weapons or people. You should be more discerning. You're a fucking, you're dis, you're gross. You're gross. He's one of those like, uh, men want, uh, what, what that, that new meme that's going around. Men want, um, it's not a meme. They were serious about it. Men want, uh, debt free something virgins or something. That's what this guy is. Piece of shit. Yeah, I'm not trying to impress you. Just like that, Monchetti. You want to impress someone, not you. Hey, I know this creep. You don't take no for an answer, do you? You turned him down too? Ha! <laughs> How do you know? I like that you turned him down too. I get approached by lots of fans, so I wouldn't normally remember. Uh. Except this guy. Oh, except this this guy took it so personally, he basically threw a fit. Pathetic. Hmm. I'm sorry if I'm a romantic who believes in courtship. You know, you're a stalker. 
he's he's the classic creepy stalker nice guy nice guy it's not courtship if it, it pop isn't interested back off exactly <laughs> you think you're so great i was friends with big papa before you so enjoy sloppy seconds uh, uh. Ugh. you're fucking vile dude i said back fuck him up off or else whoa the text bar changed you do violence like so little sword man against a knight templar who the fuck I might. This is your final warning. The crowd parts around you, holding their breath to see what happens next. Hmm. I'm going to need you both to step outside. Eric flees, pushing concert goers out of his way in his rush. No problem here, sir. Do that again, I'm blacklisting you. I don't care how famous mm -hmm. you are. Seven takes a deep breath and exhales slowly. You don't need to protect me. Seven shrugs and doesn't respond, looking away. The crowd cheers as two figures take the stage. It's Mark Syke and Queen or whatever. McQueen. They don't introduce themselves. They just start in. Eat, head down into the music. You and Seven bob to the rhythm. The crowd around you starts to dance. The duo plays a long set deep into the night. Afterwards, as the crowd filters out, Seven squeezes your hand. <laughs> that was actually... That was actually cool. I forgot that I used the light going to concerts. Hell yeah, dude. Chain Lightning can strike an extra two times. Love that. It's so refreshing to me. To see people who care about music, not their ego. Thanks for coming, and I'm sorry I overstepped before. I've been the baby of the group for so long, it felt good to be scared. Uh, I'm so sick of using egg I ego. You don't even know. Uh, Though I was kind of venting too. It's not all Eric's fault. I got some bad news tonight. You okay? I I don't know yet. Sung Woo, the front man of Blade Generation, he's changing his name. His name's going to be Lucky. Can you believe that? It's so stupid. It's an English word, even though that's... That's my... thing. It was the only thing that made me special in the group. Now I'm nothing. Uh. It's like I don't even matter. To him, to our agent, to anyone. <laughs> Have you talked to him? No. Uh -huh. No. I can't just call him. I can't. It's not how I do things. I wish I could, I just... I don't know. I trust the Sung Woo. So his betrayal hurts. But it's more than that. I feel like my whole career is a joke to them. Destroyed at a moment's mm. notice. I spent all this facking... This time facking it... Or faking it. Wow. Till I made it. I was just a nobody after all. His eyes glitter wet with unsheathed tears. Unshed tears. Uh, yeah, wait. Uh... uh. I, I had some extra apples, so I thought you might want some. He presses a small bag of peeled, chopped apples into your hands. Later. I have to go. It'd be good to dunge later. To uh, take the edge off. Thanks for tonight. You want this? Because we just went to their party. Hell yeah! Masculine yet heartful. I love it. Thank you. Enjoy. Got that Eric guy. You actually dated him? I didn't think I did. I don't care if you date other people. But that guy. Ugh. I'm so sorry. It was my first date ever. Wow, that's so much worse. Yeah. You poor thing. <laughs> I'm lucky you didn't give up on dating forever. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed your apples. I did. They were delicious. Thank you. Alright. Uh, oh, we got... What's his name? Is there a way to zoom out? Capulet Beach. Hey. Oh, it's you. You find Sunder and Mandy sitting on a dune. Sunder appears to be drinking. Woo! Are we celebrating? Uh-huh. Yeah. Or, yeah, believe it. Being alive is the best, right? Uh... I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> you know, most people are dead, statistically. That's a lot of people. Really, a lot. Sometimes I try to calculate the number of ghosts there should be. Hmm. 
Even if 1% of people had unfinished business, that'd be millions of ghosts. All kinds of ghosts. Sultans, schoolgirls, fashion designers, farmers. Everyone. Ugh. Are you really trying to be more goth than me? Nah. Nah. I'm being... I'm being really anti-goth right now, Mandy. Keep up. I'm saying living is like the VIP section of the universe. Why all this death stuff? Why not? It's all around us. That's what being alive means, right? Dying? What about books and mountains? They're not alive, but they are way better than people. What about you, Big Papa? You think about death often. You spend time chatting, looking over at the moonlit ocean. Eventually, there's a science demanding clears your throat. I'm getting... I'm getting hungry. You must be too, Sunder. How about a snack? Wait, you gonna chomp me? Or her? Mandy looks at you curiously. Sure, a snack sounds good. I'm always up for a snack. <laughs> you hear that, lover boy? He's up for it. Hey. Cut it out, Mandy. What? You haven't told Big Papa about our little hobby? He told me everything. What hobby? <sighs> Ugh, Mandy, just go home if you're feeling antsy. Suit yourself. Just don't stay out too late. The sun comes up faster in summer. Mandy slinks away into the evening. Sunder glares after her. Sunder sighs, apparently at a loss for word. What was that about? Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Not right now. A cold breeze comes in from the ocean. Ocean. Chilly against your skin. Ugh. Well, I don't like any of these. He's gonna give me a stupid jacket. You poor thing. He rubs your goose bumpy arms. Sunder's hands aren't any warmer, but the friction helps relax you a little. Yep. He takes off his jacket and settles it around, around your shoulders. I got some cool shades. <laughs> Here. I also got you a little gift. I always wake up too late to use them. Thanks. Hmm. I guess I still have some things I'm not ready to talk about. It's not like we're in a relationship anyway, right? Just friends, so... Looks like he started... Like he started to shiver. Let's just forget uh, about this and I'll, I'll walk you home where it's warm. We walk together through Verona Beach until you arrive at your building. You give him his jacket back. He puts it back on gracefully. Or gratefully. Before Mandy... Before Mandy ran her mouth, I had much... I had so much fun with you tonight. Usually around now I get the summertime blues, but with you I feel so alive. Bleeding does more damage. Love that! Like, all my dark thoughts don't weigh me down. And honestly, I don't want to go back to my lonely apartment. It's like a crypt. Uh... I know you said you weren't interested in me that way, but I'd kick myself later if I didn't ask. Can I come up? Uh, and do what? Oh, we can watch some net TV or talk <laughs> on the bed? Nah. Mm -hmm. So what's your final answer? Should we have a good time tonight or not? Nah, I, you can come up here and crash out, but nah. You gotta be that way. Oh, really? Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to pressure you. I must have gotten carried away. Oops. Naughty me. Night, hotness. <laughs> Shit. Sorry, slipped up. I'm bad at this. Night, uh, friend person. He saunters into the night, and you climb the stairs home. Do I have another game? Weep. What do those glasses do? Enemies bleed when they damage you. Ooh, nice. Uh, I just want to say, you're cooler the more I get to know you, even when I make you mad, so thanks. And not welcome. Ouch. Well, after you get over it, then let's dunge. That's fine. Just don't be a prick. Alright, do we just dungeon eyes? Press knuckles. Let's knock out Valeria's. Because we're probably going to get those bosses at level 9 or 10. 
and maybe we can take him out. Can I hit this them? This feels dangerous. I like it. Oh, they're actually talking for once. They haven't talked entering the dungeon in a while. Ooh, that was close. Ooh. Stop it. A box. Okay. Ooh. Oh my. Um, this isn't really my kind of thing, to be honest. I hope you didn't do this for me. I hate the big public displays and convenient shorthand, you know? I mean, I do like romance. I just want it to be personal. Special. Just between two uh, people. An ex and I once invented a whole secret language just for us. That's kind of cute and nerdy. <laughs> she laughs softly to herself. Well, shopping at Monsters together is plenty romantic for me. <laughs> Last one to critical hit is Rotten Egg. Okay, should I be choosing which one of these to interact with? For the people I'm carrying? Because I'm just doing it every time. Ouch. Lasers! Lasers! Did they both miss? Because amazing. What is this? I will take it. <gasps> Almost walked into that. Oh, there are invulnerability of frames. Amazing. God, murdered the shit out of that. It was awesome. Storm sign. Ooh. Is there going to be a lightning strike thing? That'd be kind of cool. Fuck. All right. I'm going to be at the boss again, aren't I? Get him, kitties! So OP. Grab that one. A Halo recipe. Ouch. I haven't gotten used to the, <laughs> the cat dash again. Like that. All right, I have one sleep. Find a more private part of the club that ropes seem to keep the monsters away. Fuck! This would have been good for Valeria. Would you like to offer a gift? Uh, shit! This would have been the time to offer a gift for Valeria. Pocket curls up. It seems to instantly fall into a cat nap. In the cozy quiet, you soon find yourself also fall falling into a light snooze. In a dream, you smell something delicious. You reach out to find the source and stuff it in your mouth. You bite down to something juicy yet crunchy. You slowly realize it was a tasty mouse? The cat! Put him. <laughs> a mouse in my mouth! You wake up gagging to find Pocket staring at you intently. Your life is gross. You, s you sent me that dream. Pocket tilts his head curiously but doesn't answer. You both stretch and get ready to return to battle. <laughs> Thanks, kitty. Gross. What? You didn't have a laser beam. How did you hit me? Ah. Fuck. 
Did I get hit by both those? No. Yeesh. True royalty recipe. Interesting. Oh, right. I don't have the... Fuck. I was trying to play, like, the dagger. Which is not... what I do here. Take that. Can we sneak up on the boys? Alright, you tear him up faster with that move. That hit me. Oh crap, it's a big one. Oh, I just got unlucky with that one fight. When they were all three in that room. Ow. Fucking A. Holy- Ah! Okay, I lied. They weren't bosses. They're normals, and they're just big and scary. Now it's suddenly easier. Oh! That's what probably killed me last time. like a fool I am. Probably should have picked that up later. That hit me? Come on. You are guarding a chest. Get groomy. Ooh! Another chest in the darkness. Oh, dude, look at all that stuff. Love that. All right, but I do want to know what's over here. And I'm getting my ass kicked. The difficulty ramp is significant. Oh. I might have to turn on the immobilized one. It, once I lock something up from far away, it's really helpful. So they wouldn't be able to attack me. Nice little CC. Come on, buddy. Oh! I rolled back into it like a doofus. Cat, wanna play in billiards? Pocket helps them in the nearby pool table and bats a ball frantically, excited as it rolls. Play. You move the pool balls around intriguingly, keeping pocket running until he's breathless. Meow. Do you like to forget? I don't have one, sorry. Your dreams are open for nearly energized. Love it. All right. I wonder how far the dungeons are. Damn. I'll keep with the cat. We'll do Sawyer later. Oh, fuck. I should probably leave. This area is nasty. Ew. You wear a big pop, you come closer, your weapon will s stay out of the green goop. Oh shit. Oh, a little fear of intimacy is fine, but no one likes an overshare. Yeah. Holy crap. There is a lot happening here.
Stay wait. Stay wait. Oh, I gotta break my fear intimacy here. I didn't need that. Oh, it's growing back. Okay. Ouch. Uh oh. Do it. I'm just the helmet. I did it. Hell yeah, dude. The fuck? A strange thing looks you up and down, smirking appreciatively. You realize you're fam they're familiar, but you can't quite place it. <laughs> hey, good looking. Come here often. No? What are you? You've been afraid of intimacy for so long! But you, you don't even recognize me? Call me Dungeon Boyfriend, it was me all along. When you saw the sexy scenes in movies and looked away, I was there. When you first imagined someone's lift on yours and froze, I was there. Not just physical either. Remember when you first started hiding your true self? I do. I may be a dungeon, and I know I'm not the only one you've been grinding, but... Give me another chance. I've kept you safe from being hurt. Being used, being violated. I've been beside your side for so long. What would your life be without me? Better? Better for you, maybe. But what about poor dungeon boyfriend, huh? Give us a goodbye kiss, won't you? For old time's sake. What the fuck is happening? Come here, you weirdo. You feel the dungeon itself leaning to you, hungry for the fear, but finding nothing left to devour. He fades against your lips, you feel confidence grow even further. You close your eyes, truly at peace with intimacy at last. I just kissed a dungeon? A new plushie can be found in your apartment! <laughs> oh, that was the end of the dungeon, nice. We did it! Good job, cat! How goofy. Oops. Wait, can I not leave? Ouch, it does hurt. Sounds like a bass drum in a club. Bass drum? Bass thrum. Yeah. That was funny. <laughs> what a goofy little dungeon. You breathe a little easier as the door closes behind you. Wow, the first time I didn't multi-level. Oh, that's because I only did <laughs> a couple levels. Oh, there's something underneath my desk. Oh no, it's just my whole desk. Let's... Whoa. There's a fun bug. What the fuck? Whoa! Let's do the messages first. Oh, okay, well he's really into fish now. I already read that before. Hmm, we're just friends, so... Is that too much? Yeah. No. I don't know. Is it weird I don't know your name? It's Big Papa. Cool. I'm Tank, a personal trainer. Nice to have meet you or whatever. I'm letting Pocket out. Not sure where he's going. But he didn't eat breakfast, so he's probably hungry. Like I said, how he spells probably. Okay, muffin stench is gone. Mostly. Oh, that's right! That's why we can see her. Sounds good. Wanna come over and see my work this evening? Absolutely. Can't wait. Alright, can I... Is this fixed? This is not fixed. No idea what I just made.
Halo. Ever just heal more. <laughs> Innocently trying to heal your thirst. Or hide your thirst. That's funny. All right, let's let's go to the art studio. I want to see what this is about. I can't. There. You turn onto the sign street that houses Valeria's art studio, but the smile on your face drops as you see J Jake walk out. I would just avoid him. Can I do that? Oh, hide. You duck into a short shop doorway as he passes by, muttering to himself. You watch him walk away and turn to look at Valeria's door. You should just leave Jake alone and go in. Yeah, you will. Anytime now. I'm gonna enter the studio. The studio smells of paint and some kind of woody spice hey. perfume. Oh, I thought you'd be here later. Did you see Jake? Yeah, I hid from him. He's being ridi ridiculous right now. Thank you for being honest with me. Speaking of which... She twirls a strand of her hair nervously and looks away. Speaking of messy, I have something huh. to show you. I want to trust you with a new part of me, and I'm not sure I should. Whatever you're comfortable with. Do you really want to know who I am? I want you to be honest. It's a big step, but I want to take it with you. Uh... I don't like either's answer. Whatever you're comfortable with. Sure. Yeah. Really? Okay, then come with me. You walk through Verona Beach with Valeria, holding hands in your silence. Both of you are nervous with anticipation. It feels palpable between you two. You keep walking till you reach the mall. Valeria tugs you to the side. Oh, that's actually really pretty. She searches your face as you take in the mural on the once plain wall. What do you think? It's beautiful. It's illegal. It's a lot. It's beautiful. Thanks. You really think so? Uh, wow, thank you. I think it's beautiful. I like it. This is my last secret. Mine and Jake's and Jessica's. We were... We are the Roses of Venus. Oh, that's fucking dope! That's what we made together. We'd bring beauty and love to the streets around the world. You're one of the maybe 30 people in the whole world who knows who we are. That's the biggest secret. What? Being an internationally renowned art pr provocateur? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I guess I just trust you. Well, that's my secret. This is who I am. I think it's awesome. Istanbul, Paris, Tokyo, New York, London, Shanghai, and now Verona Beach. Our last job all together was the Louvre. You got us all a lot of attention. I think we're wanted by Interpol now. <laughs> I just could wanted more of it. The more dangerous it got, the better. <sighs> I just needed to get away from it all. You know, fly low. No chance of running into Jessica on Main Street. This is the opposite of her scene. <laughs> but Larry looks at you. The truth of her painted, the truth of her painted on the wall behind, impossibly bright. Open-minded. Uh, heavy finishers have a wider damage area. Heavy finishers confuse enemies. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, I'm really starting to like it here. More than I. More than like it, maybe. You stand together. People talk about the mural and take pictures as the sun goes down. Yes! I got some stuff for you. Uh... Want this? Yes! Fuck yeah! Why was there two of you? Aw, oh, thanks. You didn't have to. You head home. Hell yeah, dude! Look at my little plushies. Did I make the new design? Is this fixed yet? It's still broke. Why is this... T oh. I love it! It's no Game of Thrones. This is real life. Alright, so that one's done. What's next? Oh! Oh shit! Let's go do this real quick. I forgot about uh, Jesse, by the way. You find pockets sitting outside Baru Barura. It seems closed to the uh, for the afternoon. As soon as you arrive, he stands up and walks up to meet you. Pocket rubs his head against the bottom of your legs, purring. He puts his front paws on your legs, looking up into your face. 
<laughs> I just want to keep saying nice kitty. Nice kitty. Pocket suddenly darts around you, pawing you playfully as if in a game of tag. He runs towards the restaurant and you notice something hanging from his mouth. It's your wallet. The cat took your wallet? Hey! He pushes his way into the restaurant door. How do you know it would be unlocked? It... Is that because I didn't follow him last time, so this time he knew it would get me to follow him? You follow him to turn to get your wallet back. You're alone in the restaurant except a tired looking man you assume is the owner. Hmm? Hey! Yes, hello? Can I help you? Did you see a cat? Mm -hmm. A cat? No, certainly not. This is an eating establishment. You see your wallet on the floor of the restaurant. You pick it up. All the money is still inside. The clamor arises from the kitchen. Something's gone awry. Now what? Pocket runs past a giant fish hanging out of his mouth. Oh god. Ugh. Oh lord. I suppose we should call animal control. He's already out the door. Pay for the fish. The money is only half of it, you know. I source my ingredients carefully. Mm -mm. Just please leave and make sure your animal does not come back. I'll give him a ten. You hear you at the door. Outside, you don't see Pocket anywhere. You at home. But after just a block, you hear some happy meowing. Looking around, you find Pocket enjoying his fish immensely. Stinking cat. Finishes knock enemies back further. Yeah, I like the stunt. It looks like he's ha saved half for you, untouched. I'm gonna eat it. Trying to bribe me? Pocket flicks his tail casually. Meow. Would you like to offer a gift? I don't have anything for you. Oh my god, you like the bear? Pocket gently sinks his paws in the bear's fur and begins kneading and purring. Abruptly, he freezes and his ears flatten against his head. A growl st starts in his throat. Is that big cat coming? Yep. The cat from before stalks into view, eyes fixed on Pocket. Fuck off. He walks up and starts eating Pocket's fish. Pocket doesn't seem to know how to react to this fish thief. His eyes frozen. Maybe we can be friends. He pet Pocket to calm him. Though he, he continues to growl as his fish is eaten. Eventually, the fish is gone and the street cat looks up, staring at Pocket. The cat leaps. Oh, fuck! And Pocket starts to become rightly massive fur and claws. It's quickly clear that Pocket is outmatched. Pocket is nearly pinned, but squirms free and runs away at full tilt. Fuck off, cat! The street cat sits down and preens, cleaning his claws free of orange fur. I don't want to pet it. It's going to attack me. I'm going to try to pet it. The street cat has his socks away, evading your hand. Fuck you, cat! Eating up my cat. There was another cat. Sorry. You bug. Oh, I thought I caught it. Well, obviously, he's going to do what he wants, I guess. I just hope he's more careful. Do we need to take him to the vet? I'll help. Shit, I need to go to bed. It's stream time. I just keep running into things. Wait, I'm not dating my cousin. That's weird. The weapon shot is locked, but there's lights on inside. You look around, you don't Over see anyone. Here. You spot Jesse hiding behind a car. You duck into shadow and join him. This is ridiculous. What are we doing? Shh. He's coming out. You hear the short shop door open and take a peek. You see Eric and his friend conferring. Repeat your orders once more. I don't want any mistakes this time. <sighs> Kill. No. No, no. No killing. Come on, focus. I'm glad I double-checked. Watch. Yes. Yes? Watch, Big Papa. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. A cookie for you. What kind of cookies do you like? Macaroon? Then attack, Big Papa. Then attack, Big Papa. No. No! What about Oreos? Ugh, this isn't going to work out at all, is it? I love... I love... Yes, I know you love me. I created you. It's only natural. Oh, you're one of the weapons. <laughs> I love to kill. Oh. Well, that's unacceptable. I made you to obey me. I don't want you to hurt anyone. Nice. Hmm. I mean, everyone has thoughts, but I don't actually want to hurt anyone. Nice. Ugh. 
Uh, fine. Come back inside so I can fix you. You're no state for a mission. Stranger hisses and turns to look straight at you. No. Target acquired. Masamune. Right. Masamune! Inside, now! You named it. You named it after Sephiroth's sword. Masamune smiles widely at you, staring openly. Eric follows its gaze and his eyes widen. Uh, Big Papa and Jesse, what are you doing here? Uh... Hey, Eric. We uh, just happened to be in the neighborhood. You've been weird. You made this thing? His name is Masamune, but yes, he's been a work in progress. It's, looks like he's lost his head. Aren't we all? Ugh. Yes, he has some flaws in his design and some serious problems. Your Merch! Loyalty is Thank you so much for the 37 months! Get him cookies! Cookies is cookies. Thank you for cookies. It's only 10. Yeah, I decided to round out by doing one more thing here because then we're, I think we clear the board for tomorrow. But how you doing, friendo? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for continued support. I appreciate the heck out of you. Did you make it this far in this game? Weird shit's happening. <sighs> Don't we all? Stop saying that. Now as it happens, I could use your help. I put in a lot of effort gathering the materials and smithing him. But now I think it's time to... Deactivate Masamune. How? Well, I don't think to put in the self-destruct button, if that's what you're asking. Hmm. That was your first mistake. <laughs> I always put one of those in my Frankenstein monsters. Genius takes time. I have a smithing technique that'll make me rich here. Hmm. Really? I knew there'd be kinks to work out in the design, but... I thought they'd be sexy kind of kinks. See, you're a fucking weirdo, dude. I had hoped it wouldn't come to this. Sorry, old boy. Eric passed the monster's shoulder awkwardly. The katana creature continues staring at you hungrily, shrugging away Eric's hand. Uh... So, now you want to kill it? Uh, him? The thing's attention, attention snaps to Eric. <laughs> no. Is that Matt, Mer Matt Mercer? Matt Mercer. Matthew Mercer! That's his name. Voice? Er, uh, Ixnay on the ill K. That's when he slashes at Eric, slicing up his arm and chest, exposing flesh beneath. Ah! Eric shrieks and faints as Masamune melts into a nearby shadow. Jesse dials 911. Yes, this, this is an emergency. We need an ambulance. 542, Cotabolt Lane. There are, all the areas are named after Romeo and Juliet stuff. Uh... I hate the guy, but we're gonna help stanch the bleeding. You press on Eric's wounds, applying basic first aid. I'm dying. I can feel it. My life force slipping away. I give my weapon shop to you, Big Papa. Take care of it. Remember uh, me. You're gonna be fine. You got scratches. Dude, you're going to be fine. Stop the dramatics. Yeah. You don't know that. Maybe I'll be dead any second. Then how will you feel? An ambulance pulls up. Remember me! A paramedic ushers him to the ambulance and drives away. Well, that could have gone better. At least we found something out. The katana creature's on the katana creature's on the loose, though. We better be careful until it's found. Why did Eric want it to want you anyway? Because he's fucking creep. He's a stalker. Uh, I guess he is, isn't he? Jeez. Disturbing. That's where the stalking message came in at the beginning of the game. Well, you don't have to interact with him anymore. He went away over the line. Keep yourself safe, okay? And I will too. Except the dunge, I guess. That's just work. Are you going to be okay at home alone? I'm so sorry I introduced you to that guy. At least you have really good locks on the door. I paid top dollar. I can come stay on the couch in the just in case if that helped. Yeah, if you don't mind. Uh-huh. Of course I don't mind. I got to keep you safe over, well, you know, your mom. Come on, let's go. Head home together. Love this game. Anxious. You're anxious, but fine otherwise. How's the night? Night's going fine. Nothing too crazy. Just playing this game. Looks like we're going to be playing some more tomorrow. What are you anxious about? You okay? I mean, you don't have to share if you don't want, obviously. You feel your heart leaping up into your throat. It's getting urgent. Jesse comes in and locks the door firmly behind him. Uh -huh. Jesse pats the couch affectionately. I've missed this. Whenever I had trouble sleeping, I'd come to the couch and zonk out instantly. He yawns and stretches out, looking remarkably com remarkably comfortable. At home, even. Night, cuz! Night. 
Fifty smiles and waves, setting in, settling in to sleep. Your head feels cl cloudy, foggy with thoughts that leap ahead of you, faster than you can catch them. You saw Eric get attacked. What would Katana do next? What is he capable of? No answers come to mind. Only questions. You lie down reluctantly, bracing yourself for hours of tossing and turning. You take a few deep breaths, curling up into yourself. Maybe it's knowing Jesse is asleep on the couch, but you immediately fall into darkness. In the morning, you find Jesse anxiously scrolling on his phone. Aww. Hey, cuz. You're going to want to sit down. Oh, you're already sitting. Good. Um, so, nobody's answering their phone. Isaac, Sunder, Valeria, nobody. Fuck! All my weapon friends are weirdly silent this morning. What does that mean? It's still early morning. What does that mean? I don't know. I was hoping to figure it out before you woke up. But here we are. This is bad weird. What if... What if Quintana got to them all somehow? Fuck off, game! If this... If my friends got murdered, I'm gonna lose my mind. Jeff, Jesse jumps at the knock of the door. Who is it? Uh... Don't worry. The lock will hold. I got a lifetime guarantee with the locksmith. Jesse looks through the people. Uh -huh. Oh, you... It's just Samantha. She's probably a little weirded out, too. I'll be right back. I haven't met Samantha yet. Look out the people. Samantha's gonna be someone we know. Is it gonna be Masabune? I don't like the creepy sounds going on. Just life in general? Gotcha. We started a new menu that is way more tedious than anticipated. Ooh! Are you gonna post pictures in the Discord? Because I want to see. He unbolts the door and steps out. You quickly lock the door after him. Look out the peephole. You see an empty stairwell. Weird. Where'd Jesse go? You realize despite all your striving, you're not you're alone. Everyone is gone, maybe forever. How do I fix this? You remember all the times you pushed someone away or made yourself less likable. You laughed at the wrong times, you asked the wrong questions, you were too quiet or too loud. To fix it, you have to become a totally different person. Is that even possible? Ah You're hissing and jump to realize Katana is standing next to you with a smirk. I don't like this. Best. I can fix this. I'll destroy you. I can fix this. You grow in power and strength as you decide this is a fight worth having, a fight worth winning. Katana shrinks back from your newfound resolve. You rush to meet Katana and demand answers for your missing weapon friends. He melts into darkness. You chase after for him for what feels like a long time until you're panting with exertion. You wake up with a trace of sweat beating on your back. Is that just a dream? I was just going to say that. Jesse shares a simple breakfast with you. You tell him about the dream. Fucking A. Whoa. <sighs> oh. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better. There were no incidents last night, so I guess it's back to, like, back to life as normal. Plus locked doors. Mm. I'll try finding some more information out of Eric. Maybe he has some idea how to get rid of the thing. Good idea. I'll let you know what he says, if anything. Stay sharp, cuz. Uh, or keep your friends sharp, anyways. He lets himself out. You take a deep breath and feel a clarity thrill through you, from scalp to fingertips. You take another deep breath. Whatever happens, you're ready. Huh. <sighs> I was actually stressed. They're not any close to done at all, but I plan to take your time with it. Good! Um, if you want to do uh, progress pictures, those always excite me. I like seeing progress things come together. If you feel like it. Oh boy. We got to do something about this monster on the loose, especially before you fly home. It's going to be the end of summer before you know it. No! I know. We got to make the most of the time we have. I'll try to grill er Eric. He's in the hospital. That means he can't run away. I've been taking blacksmithing classes. Maybe I can use that? Maybe you can help. We'll let you know if I find out anything. Thanks, cuz. All right, my friends. This is where we call it. Also, I need to find out why my buttons suddenly stopped working. Like, Full screen isn't working right now. And it was working earlier, but then the game 
would like disappear and stuff. Come on! No idea, but something happened, something changed with the Stream Deck. Uh, I updated um, Windows and stuff today, but that's about it. So I don't know why things are misbehaving, but I'll have to look into it. But this is where I'm going to call it, my dear friends. Um, I'm not going to go for a raid because I'm going to go directly to bed. What is this? Oh, data privacy. Okay. Um... But I appreciate you guys being here. I hope you guys are enjoying the game. Um, we're going to continue playing tomorrow. Um, I I think this is only has like one more stream day left. A according to stuff I was reading online about how long it is. And then maybe we'll pick up Shredder's Revenge. I'm not sure. Um, but looks like the, uh, the channel points things are still broken. Oh, it's fixed now. Okay, cool. Well, they got fixed. That's nice. Um, wait, is Moira is Moira alive right now? We will absolutely go raid Moira. We love Lee. We love a good Lee time. Absolutely go raid Moira. Ah, hold on. So you guys know how this works, then? Let's go raid Moira. Moira's sugar baby. Let's go get Liv Lee some uh, love. Thanks for checking on that Yuri, because I didn't even have my uh, follows list open. So, I appreciate you, my dude. Um, also, I did forget to do this. We got all the sounds happening. We got game, we got the raid sound, and then we got this all playing. Enjoy the chaos. <laughs> Yuri, thank you so much for being here, my dude. I'm sorry, I forgot. Oh, oops, one thing. I forgot. I always forget the stream boss thing. I wish I could automate it, but uh, I cannot. But thank you so much for being here, guys. I appreciate you guys. Um, remember to spay new your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to rescue if you can afford it. Or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and races out that are very much need. Anyways, I'm Vasive. Thank you guys so much for letting me be your streamer tonight. I heavily appreciate it. And I will catch you all next time. See ya. Get it, you hungry? Get it, you hungry? I know, let's go.